up into second place. Christiansen makes the move down the inside. And the Dane goes on through into P4 as well. So we start lap two with Patrick Lockmellis, the Winter Cup champion in the race lead. Ben Sharple superbly presented. That's a 4.9, that's a Bureau Art, the 496. Christiansen in the Tony Car for RS competition. Barbaro in the Soddy Cart is right on the back of the Hungarian who finished 11th in the grand finals in Bahrain some six months ago. Barbaro has a look into turn six. The Hungarian defends. Patrick escapes. Watch him try and dive down the inside. Barbaro sends it. Sensational from the Frenchman. The Soddy Cart shoots up into second place. Fantastic pass from Antoine Barbaro. The Hungarian back to third. Fabulous pass as we complete lap three in just a moment. Take a look at this. At the last possible moment, he was close to the back of the Hungarian. Did not break until he had the soddy cart in front of Bendo Charbol's at Viral Arts and has actually pulled away ever so slightly. Antoine Barbaro, who won last year's Rotax Max Challenge International Trophy at the world-famous Le Mans circuit, now into P2. He was sixth at the season opening Winter Cup. He's chasing the driver who won at Campios in the south of Spain to kickstart the 2024 European Rotax racing season. He's already caught up to the back of Patrick's. As Ben Charbol fights over the ripple strip, there's Christian Sanfiris, Noah Hip in P6. Barbaru has just reeled in Lock Mellis, fastest driver on the circuit. Coming from near on the back of the grid is David Al Ledner, who's up in a P8 with a 54 6. David Al Ledner trying to make his way up through. He finished three at third in the season opening Winter Cup. On the back of Hannes Morin and Noah Hip will get a glimpse of the pole in the background. There he is. Down into turn one. Barbaru sends it down the inside. Goes on deep, stands on the four-wheel brakes. The Soddy Cart leads. Antoine Barbaro means business here this morning. The French driver in the Dutch-speaking side of Belgium. In the French cart, points ahead. Well, Antoine, there's nobody ahead, but just fresh air. Take a look at this. Down into turn one. He was glued to the back of the Latvian. Fabulous passing opportunity and Antoine Barbaro as the track opens up, just sent it. That was premeditated from before the previous corner. Barbaro already pulling away. Pre-final B for DD2, we're about to start lap six with the Frenchman in the lead. Here's Ben Chabot. Christensen up into P4. The RS competition cut the Danish drive of the Danish team. Runyard Viris is just behind. There's no here for RF concept. The French driver multiple podiums in 2023 in the NSK series. Really good flashes of speed throughout the heats here this weekend. For Noah Hip, there he is in P6, the blue and white machine. Noah, it's an OTK car, the EOS brand. Head of Hannes Morin, David Aletna, still with the fastest lap of the race, and now up in a P8. He goes by Shulko, Fabian Bach, Axel Saniala, former Grand Finals champion. The Finn back in 11 from Aaron Krepchik. Vidnar makes his way up through the field for the AKK team. Aljas Vidmar from Slovenia in the 4.05 Tony Kart. Behind Aaron Krepchik, ahead of Nico Giam. Pauklebo, Mats Overhoff, down to 17th. An interesting entry is Mats Overhoff. One, the E20 electric category in Masters in the Grand Finals. The German not having a good run this morning though. He's down in 17th ahead of Manuel Tenshirt and Brian Anscher. The Frenchman who DNF'd the very first heat on Friday and has struggled since. We're getting news that the driver just a few positions ahead. Louis Koch is under investigation. We'll keep one eye on that as we watch Barbaro across the line to start lap eight. 54-3 for the Frenchman. Locke Mellis, four tenths of a second behind.
Louis Koch under investigation. Behind Axel Saniala, down in 11th, the former Grand Finals champion. There's Ben Chabot over the Rupel Strip. Down past the model, the RC. Racing card gang circuit, you just get a glimpse in the background. Fabulous to see model cars racing here this weekend. At the smaller circuit, the RC model racing gang circuit. Together with the Rotax Euro Trophy first round for 2024. Barbaro is pulling away, turns into the final corner. Just drifts it ever so slightly. Now straightens up across the line at 117 case an hour, 118 for Sharbo. There is nothing in it in terms of straight line speed. The slowest in a straight line was Fabian Bock in P10 at 116 k's an hour. And the quickest, 119, Maxim Shurko, who actually got the slipstream ever so slightly from Hannes Modian. Near on identical performance from Rotax, the DD2 engine, as we mentioned in pre-final A, the original version presented to the world back here at Genk, the original Genk circuit, together with the first round of the European Formula A and Formula Super A championships back 24 years ago in 2000. The original RM1 concept cards. Is Virus from David Aletna, fastest on circuit. Is the pole. Rides the ripple strip, does Patrick's Lock Mellis. Sits tall in the 418 barrel art, the first three pulling away. There's Christensen, hip. Run now, Vitas just behind. Down the back straight, over the ripple strip. Airborne from the Hungarian, Ben Sharbo just sends it. The rubber piling up offline and being painted onto the 1,360 metre gen circuit. Online as we can complete lap 10 of 13. Pre final B for DD2. Two and a half laps remaining as we approach the 10 minute mark of pre-final B, the third of our nine pre-finals here this morning. There's Noah Hip up into P5, the Frenchman, a dark horse for victory here. That was Fabian Bach, Saniala, Vidmar, Koch. Louis Koch from the back of the grid for Door Motorsport in the Cart Republic. For the moment, still running in 13th place behind Vitmar, but under investigation. Two laps now remaining for the Frenchman. Looking to take pole position for the final later this afternoon. Unlikely to do so. This is the Super Heat or the pre final B with the combined points from the heats we raced on Friday and Saturday with the pre final this morning at the moment. It looks as though Enzo Ball will start on pole position for the final, regardless of what happens in the remaining lap and a half. Patrick Lockmellis seems to be the only driver that can change that, but he sits in P2. Antoine Barbarol in P1. Unless Lockmellis can get by, Patrick will start from grid two for the final later this afternoon, round one of the Rotax Euro Trophy here at Genk in Belgium. Last lap of the race for the Frenchman. There's Noah here. Last opportunity for Noah up into P5 behind Christiansen. Too far back though. There is two, almost three tenths of a second between the Dane and the second French driver. Noah, one last opportunity to go P4. Patrick's one last chance to take pole position for the final. It's looking good for Antoine Barbaro to win pre-final B for DD2. Ben Chabot, a great drive into P3. Chabot to start grid fight inside second row, third row. 
for the final leg of this afternoon. That is provisional. Le dernier virage pour Antoine Paporo. Et maintenant, voilà, le 3 pour Adamier. A gagné Antoine Paporo. The Frenchman wins three final B from Patrick's Lock Mellis, Ben Chabot, Christensen. Noah comes home in P4 and P5 from David Oletner, who does recover after what has been a tough weekend so far for the ball in sixth place. Highlights of pre-final B for DD2. From pole position, Patrick Slotmelis got a good start. Ben Charbovo with this move to go down into position two. The Hungarian. In the immaculately presented 496 cart KSB racing team. Up into second place. It would not last for long though because Antoine Barreau was comfortably the quickest on circuit. Went from third to second. And with this move into the lead, down into turn two to take the Latvian and win pre-final B just by a tenth of a second. Control the pace though. It is Antoine Barbaro who takes victory in pre-final B. Lockmeller second, Charbo third. From Christensen, Noah Hip, Al Letner, Rania Vera seven, Morina Shurko and Fabian Bach. Finishes in P10 for Kraft Motorsport. The 2024 Rotax Max Grand Finals, the 25th edition. Actually, no, it's not because we did miss a year when everything was shipped to Portimao in Portugal a couple of years ago. You know the reason why we did not race. Let's not mention the C word. No, not that one. We will be back, though, at Sano Circuito Internacional in Napoli at the end of October for the biggest kart racing event in the world, the Rotax Max Challenge. The Grand Finals at Sano in the south of Italy, the third time from memory that the Southern Italian Circuit has hosted it. 2019, 2016, and 2024. Yes, I can count. We go back to the very first edition at Porto Rico. Just 60 drivers racing in the single category. A year later at Langkawi in Malaysia, South Africa's Vakops near Pretoria. North of Johannesburg, Sharm El Sheikh in Egypt, Lanzarote in Spain, twice in Langkawi, 2005, Alain in the Emirates, La Conca twice, 2008 and 2010, some of the most exotic locations in the world. Back to Sano, Circuito Internazionale Napoli for the 2024 running of the Rotax Max Grand Finals. We'll take a look at the grid for pre-final eight. For Minimax, Stenek, the check on pole position, the fastest qualifier. AJ, out of grid two. Warner, Patrice Jochis, Taylor, Van der Haaland, first of the Belgians. Jensen Chalk, Verbeke, Ava Lawrence, the Australian from the Emirates. Aaron Ludigan, Rivers, Mark Lusada, Vic van Kappenhout, Rosa, Chernega, Walker, Kieran Stewart, Shimbashi, Grantins, Enzo Ball for Brand Racing, Al Khalifa. And it's Zucchetto, Osler, Kubera, Sebastian de Moussac, Adam Jaudatis, 
Ralph Rakaitis also. Kit Kubeta starting alongside Ken Osler for Bovina Power on the 12th row. Micro Grand Final Champion from 2023. Now racing in Mini Max, now in position four. There's a strawberry racing driver. Van der Harlen for Boulevard Power, the Belgian driver, the Belgian team here in Belgium for the Belgian Cup for Mini Max. Harry Taylor back in a P6, but has set the fastest lap as we approach half race distance. Pre final lay for Mini Max. Jan Bulgraf sends it down the inside. And the Dutchman for SP Motorsport in the Cup Republic goes on through. He takes the lead. Stenek back, in, back into second. Back into the lead. Stenek puts it back down the inside. Jensen's right there as well. The Strawberry Racing Team driver in the Tony Cut. What a move from Chalk. Jensen goes on through. Van der Hallen. Up into fourth, into third place.
Stanek back into the race lead. There is Jensen and Van der Hull and Strawberry Racing and Boulevard Power in second and third place. Move down the inside from Vince van der Hallen. Contact between Warner and Taylor. Chalk, in fact, it is. Van der Hallen on the outside loses both the positions. And the two Brits take the Belgian from different teams, mind you. Strawberry Racing and Dan Holland Racing. Vince van der Hallen for Boulevard Power. Ballgraf is losing time. There's Schoenegger. We'll take a look at this just a moment ago. Van der Hallen down the inside to take Jensen Shaw. Contact between the two of them. Lucky to keep it still in the race. And at the end of that, it's Danik Babacek who's got the race lead. Nice move by Harry Taylor to go through into position two. Just so briefly, though, Vince van der Hallen takes him back, as does Jensen Chalk. One, two, three. It's Oliver Warner in the background. And more contact again. HT says, move on over, I'm coming on through. And this gives hope to AJ Bullgraf. Jan in the background, the fastest qualifier from Schoenegger, Jochus, Erinan Ludigan, Vic van Kampenhout, Marcus Hader, Arva Lawrence, Ava, she's back in 12th from Osla, Rossa, Grantins, Rivers is next. The end of lap six. And Zdenek Babacek, who was briefly put back into second place as they fight the check balls away. Move down the inside. Van der Hallen back into third. Animated as these are these drivers as they cross the line. It's Harry from Vince and Jensen in P4. Warner back to five. There's Bullgraf just watching this battle in the Kart Republic, the fastest qualifier. Jan Bullgraf. In P6 from Schoenegger and Jochus. Vic van Kampenhout, Marc Cassette, Quesada. The Frenchman, head of the two Turks, Unludigan and Osler. Ava Lawrence in between both of them. The penultimate lap of the race, they've caught up to the back of Stenet Babacek. Harry Taylor for Dan Holland Racing. Pre-final eight for Mini Max. Stenick looks over the left shoulder, puts the card in the middle of the circuit. Watch Vince in the background. He'll sweep around the outside, but runs out of road, just has to clip the ripple strip as we start the last lap of the race. Van der Hallen in P3. Stenick still has got the race lead. Harry in second. Contact between the two Tony Karts. Van der Hallen and Jensen Chalk. Warner's right there. Watch Jan Burgraf in the background. Stenek gets pushed. He's punted out of the lead. HT with the big move over. Now Zdenek tries to fight back. The check still in second place. Fantastic racing on the last lap of pre-final eight for Mini Max. Shoots down the inside. Does Oliver Warner for Dan Holland Racing Driver in fourth place at the moment. Zdenek in P2. They come out of the penultimate corner. It's Harry Taylor who's got the race lead for Dan Holland Racing. One corner remaining. He defends. He might be slightly slower on the exit, but he's got just enough of a gap to take that checkered flag and win a pulsating pre-final eight for Mini Max. Taylor wins it from Babacek and Jensen in third place. Highlights of pre-final eight. Zdenek Babacek from pole position. It was Borgraf, the fastest qualifier on the outside, who tried to stay with Oliver Warner over the ripple strip, fighting with his Dan Holland racing teammate, Harry Taylor. Borgraf fought his way back into second place. But would be passed and ultimately finish in sixth. It got messy between the two Tony Karts. Jensen Chalk in one, six, four. Van der Harlan for Boulevard Power in 130. 
Stanek trying to defend Bullgraf around the outside, losing two positions. Van der Harlan with the big send on Jensen Shork. They did touch. Taylor would go on through. As they reeled in the check, Stanek Babacek, he had the race lead. Mauling the back of the MS cart, the check cart for the check driver. And then pushed out the way unceremoniously. Stanek Babacek helpless. Taylor in 153 for Dan Holland Racing. As they went down the back straight for the final time. No one could get close enough to the Brits who took victory in pre-final A. Taylor takes the victory from Babacek. Chalk, Warner, Van der Hallen. AJ, Jan is in six from Patrick's. Schoenega, Vix van Kampenhout and Marquez Sada in 10th place. Back here at Genk in Belgium, mini pre-final B. Albert Friend to start on pole position. Capacity field almost here. Well, it is oversubscribed. And we've divided the category mini max into the two groups. Albert Friend to start on pole position. We'll take a look at the grid. It is an all English front row of the grid. It is, it is an all strawberry racing front row. Albert and Tom Reed, Zajac, Oliver Spencer, Nikita Lubomov. And it's Kana, Myers Matsinis, what a performance throughout the heats for the Lithuanian alongside Luka Holmes, Balac, Minto and Riley Moreau. Achille Perruzzi, Martina Bertolaccini, Alfie Ward for Brand Racing, Belichko, Seidel. And it's Alex Goodson, Ari Kallenberg from the Emirates, Juliana Marie. Boris Maligranda, Mia Zanki, George Lokis, Tafe Niskanen, Kelyera, Marka Plinto, Marco Plinta, and Tristan Abils joins Yente Munen, who had a really strong run in the second heat yesterday, did the Belgian in the only Haas here racing here this weekend. Out of grid 25, Albert Friend leads the field around alongside his strawberry racing teammate. Luca Holmes Balac, the KR Sport. Driver to watch here this weekend. The legendary British team, KR Sport, with some brilliant drivers over the years. The likes of Oliver Hodgson, Joseph Turney, Clayton Ravenscroft, Harrison Thomas, two times at British Open champion, was H for the KR Sport team. It's Strawberry Racing, though, who lock out the front row of the grid. Luca Holmes at Ballage, 4KR Sport, Dan Holland Racing. Here on the second row of the grid with Michal Zajac and Oliver Spencer. Both in the Lando Norris carts. Nikita Lubomov starts out at grid five.
the Micromax Grand Finals champion from three years ago now for Nikita. For Boulevard Power starts out at grid five. This is pre-final B for Rotax Minimax. Albert on pole position. Tom out of grid two. The Strawberry Racing Carts powered by Cream Engines come up to the line and we don't race. Another formation lap. Strawberry on the front row. Dan Holland racing on the second row. Nikita for Boulevard Power. And then Hasnan Khan in the all new, the Carlos Sainz, the CS55 cart. Khan out of grid six. Myers Martinez, the Lithuanian, didn't set a representative time in qualifying. Came storming through in the 151 parallel with some outstanding drives. Myers Martinez starts out of grid seven. The Lithuanian alongside Luca Holmes Balac, the 128 Viral Art. With KR Sport is Luca, immaculately presented. There it is to the right of your screen, the white and blue machine. The parallel just to the left, that is Myers from grid 25 up into the top 10 in each of his heats. Some stunning drives. Myers Martinez from Lithuania to watch out for, starting on the inside, critically, the inside fourth row of the grid for this eight lap mini max pre final B. Albert and Tom, friend and Reed. On the front row of the grid, the Strawberry Racing teammates. We race. Luca shoots out into the middle of the circuit, trying to get track position. He's got it. But now he runs into the back of Martinez and gets airborne. Luca incredibly does keep it going. On the outside is Khan in the CS55 carts. It's Albert who's got the lead. Zajac up into second place. The pole trying to take the lead away from the Winter Cup champion. Martinez up into four. We told you on the formation laps. Watch out for the Lithuanian. He's just been passed though. Back to P5. Martinez, an outstanding start. In fifth place, Luka Holmes Balac just behind. Come down into the final corner for the first time. As we see Tom Reed make a move and it's Strawberry Racing back one and two. Albert Friend, the Winter Cup champion at Campios to start the new season. As we see Khan, Bertolacini, Seidel, Minto, Alfie Ward and Kallenberg and Peruzzi, the three Emirati drivers, 14, 15 and 16. Superstar from Yente Munen driving the only Haas cart. Here this weekend, the Belgium driver here in Belgium. Driving the Haas machine as we see Riley Moreau up onto, almost onto the ripple strip. And making, in fact, it was touching the concrete curbing. Kept it clean though, he's up in a position four. Nice pass by Riley Moreau. Trying to keep one eye on Yente Munen as well. The Belgian from the back of the grid from grid 26, now up into seventh place. Driving the Haas cart, the single Haas cart racing here this weekend the manufacturer which won the 1994 formula a world championships at the court of the argentina circuit which no longer exists in the hands of marco barindelli we'll see where yente munen crosses the line he's behind peruzzi and gallenberg as they fight there's khan trying to defend from bertolacini martinez back into 11. the fairy tale started gets tough for the lithuanian from here zajac that's riley moreau up into three Sam Pollard Racing looking for their first real big major championship title. Matching it with cream racing powered strawberry Tony carts. They've got ahead of the DHR cart. Riley Moreau has caught the both of them. He's got by Zajac and set the fastest lap. Comes streaming up behind Tom Reed, who defends ever so slightly. For his teammate Albert Friend watching to the final corner, not this time. Okay, we'll watch down into turns one and two. The Brits, one, two and three. Albert Friend, Tom Reed, and now Riley Murrow for Sam Pollard Racing. Moves down the inside, Reed closes the door. Now he's on the outside. Reed rides the ripple strip. 
Tom behind Albert. Riley will send it up the inside here. Runs out of road. What a move by Riley. Moreau for Sam Pollock racing. That was fantastic. Just held it, did not lift. Riley, the fastest on the circuit, with a 59.5, three tenths of a second faster than the driver who is only a few centimeters in front of him. Albert Friend, the Campios, the Winter Cup champion. Tom Reed, now back into third. Second year racing in the Euro Rotax at Max Challenge for Tom. On the outside now, as they go side by side across the line, he's taken him. What a move from Riley. The response coming from Albert. Onto the back of Riley Moreau as we go into the second half of the pre-final. Watch this. To the left of your screen, into the final corner. Drove it down the inside, fought on the grip. Click the ripple strip, nicely done. Went in deep, but he's got the speed. Sam Pollard racing. Hooked up here this morning. That's an express chassis, all OTK carts in the front. Yeah, well, let's just say we have to go a long way back. In fact, it's Luca holmes Ballad in the Beryl Art in P7. The first non-OTK machine. The x Reed from the Tony Carts who go two, three, and four. Nikita Lubomov is there, as is Oliver Spencer. The drive from Goodson. Alex, the MLC Motorsport. From the British Championships. From the eighth row of the grid. Goodson now up into eighth. Three laps now remaining. Pre-final B for Mini Max. The Belgian Cup, the winner of this round, will race the Rotax Max Grand Finals at Circuito Internazionale Napoli in Sano in the south of Italy at the end of October. The first round of the Euro Trophy, but it's a one-off cup race, the Belgian Cup for the Mini Max drivers. Here's Nikita Lubomov. Already a Rotax Max Grand Final champion in Micromax. Back in 2021. Riley Moreau for Sam Pollard Racing. Two laps remaining. The gap you can see. Barely two cart lengths, if that. Nikita Lubomov, though, goes purple. He is catching for Boulevard Power. There's the 145 of the Estonian. There's Albert Friend and Tom Reed. They're now split by the Boulevard Racing Team entry. All Tony cards, but different teams. And Zatjac goes on through. Does Mikal. The pole for Dan Holland Racing. There's Luca in the background from Goodson, who's come from near on, not quite the back of the grid, but he's made up a ton of places in the first league, six laps of pre-final beat for Mini Max. Riley Moreau for Sam Pollard Racing with the race lead. But Albert Friend wants back position one to try and take pole position for the final. At the moment, Friend would start out of grid two, needs to take the lead to overtake Stena Pavicek on points. And right now, he may well overtake Riley Moreau, his countryman, for the lead of the race. Up the inside, he's been pushed by Lubomov, but can't quite do it. 97 k's an hour for Riley Moreau. 95 for friend, 99 for Nikita Lubomov. But it was not enough. The St. Pollard racing driver in the X3, who came from grid 10, has got the lead of the last lap of the race. Lubomov! Nikita down the inside. Zajac fighting, trying to take Albert Friend, who holds his nerve. Nicely done by Albert, does not flinch. The Winter Cup champion safe in third place, you would think. Nikita wants it. There is Luca in P5 for KR Sports. Spencer Goodson, Bertolaccini, and Khan in the CS55 cart. Into the final corner, Riley Moreau. He will win pre final B. The checkered flag is about to wave. And the Brit from the Estonian. Sam Pollard racing for Green 10. Riley Moreau, a super drive. To win it from Lubomov. And Albert Friend, P3. 
super racing mini max as ever There is Jente Moonen coming across the line, so that speed from the Belgian throughout the heat did not materialise in pre-final B. From the start, let's take a look. Albert Friend, Riley Moreau just ducked to the inside, as did Luca holtz Ballet, and then this contact. Martinez was involved. Did come home to finish in P9, did the Lithuanian in the parallel. He was up into P4, it was my Martinez. The strawberry racing carts, one and two. Zajac from Poland was there as well as Khan tried to defend. Ultimately finishing down in 18th place in the CS55 cart, Riley Moreau. Firstly taking Tom Reed, second year in the Euro Rotax series, and then taking the lead away from Albert. As the Strawberry Racing drivers and the kids to loop them off from Bouvan Power. Well, they sort of worked together, but they simply did not have the speed. Riley Moreau around the outside, despite the slipstream of the two Tony Cards from the different teams, Strawberry Racing and Bouvan Power, held his nerve to win by two tenths of a second in the end, which is more than enough in Minimax. That checkered flag, Sam Pollard Racing, Riley Moreau will be a contender for the final, gets a good bag of points out of this as we go into this afternoon's final. Moreau from Nikita Lukomar, Fred from pole position, Zajac, then Luca in the Biralafa KR Sports, Spencer, Reed, Goodson, Martinez, P9. Remember, he was 25 in each of his heats. And Bertolacini from Argentina, also for the English Strawberry Racing Team in P10. Can't down in 18th place after that strong early start ahead of Marco Plinta in 19th. Junior pre-final lay for Junior Max in just a moment. You're watching round one of the Euro Trophy for Rotax Max for 2024, live from Genk, the home of champions. Guillermo Asarno will see you at Sano for the 2024 Rotax Max Challenge, the Grand Finals at the Circuito Internazionale Napoli, the Sano circuit, which is being rebuilt as we speak. Just a few moments before the start of Junior Pre-Final A for Junior Max, the first round of the Rotax Euro Trophy for 2024, presented for the very first time by WSK Promotion. Race start in still six or seven minutes time. Great to have your company wherever you're watching us live around the world on Motorsport TV. 239 drivers from 40 nations all around the world for the first round of the 2024 Rotax Max Challenge presented by WSK Promotion for the first time. Genk here in Belgium, Wackersdorf in Germany, Franciacorta in the north of Italy and for the very first time at the center of the karting universe South Garda Karting, Lonato under lights. The last day of August, in the middle of the Italian summer, South Garda Karting, Lonato to decide the 2024 championship. Pre-final A, we are racing sub giudice, which means basically we're under appeal, so the results for the moment are not final. We do race pre-final A, no doubt. Jacob Ashcroft, about his form, took pole position. Won the BNL race here seven days ago. Starts alongside Boas Maximoff for Bulvan Power. Jacob Ashcroft, pole position on Friday. Three heats, he won two of them. 
and came home second yesterday evening in his third and final heat. The Dan Holland Racing driver will start out of pole position. He'll be almost inevitably pushed by his teammate Cameron Nelson, who starts the inside second row alongside Dragos. Avisil Kutay on the podium in the grand finals is the MKC Motorsport driver from Austria. Pre-final A, live from Genk in Belgium. Still five minutes away from the race start. We'll take a very short break. We'll be back live from Genk in Belgium with Junior Max. Pre-final A, round one of the Rotax Euro Trophy from here in Belgium. Back here at Genk in Belgium for Junior Max. Pre-final eight, this is the grid. Last year's mini champion, Jacob, starts out of pole position alongside Boas Maximoff, Cameron Nelson. Dragos out of four, Oscar. The French driver has been superb out of five this week. Casper Nissen, Connor Clancy, the Irish Emirati. Starts out of grid seven alongside Nikita Shinobak from Belarus. Jake Woodsy, Jake Minton, Jake Fluett. Three Jakes on the fifth and sixth row of the grid alongside Lewis Goff, Charles Kitely, Will Archer. Ryan Gandor, the Canadian, struggled this weekend alongside Ollie Weiss. Peruzzi, Jack Quinto, Marcus Naruj, Leo Gonzalez, Marco Fali, Sebastian Luis, Rashid Hilal, and Timofei Tadashuk out of the grid at 23. Den Holland Racing versus Boulevard Power. The Dutch team here in Belgium, just over the Dutch border. Not far from Maastricht in the Netherlands. Boas Maximoff, the Belgian champion, the Dutch champion. Jacob Ashcroft, the reigning Rotax mini Euro champion. First year in juniors, he's young Jacob. Recently turning 12 years of age. Just a couple of months ago, actually it's April, isn't it? So back in December, Jacob turned at one, two. First year racing in juniors only, his third, fourth race, of course. That storming drive at Wilton Mill in the O plate from the back of the grid. He missed the podium, but came home fourth from last on the grid. One here in the BNL seven days ago when the weather conditions weren't nearly as favourable certainly in the early part of last weekend as we've got here this weekend for round one of the Rotax Euro Trophy for 2024.
Timofei Tadashuk and Rashid Hilal. Victorious Motorsport on the back of the grid. Timofei warming up the tyres, the Mojos on the 270 Soddy. But it's Jacob for Dan Holland Racing. Out of pole position, Boaz Maximoff. On the outside, Jacob leads the field up to the line. We race. Dragos tries to shoot down the inside, but there's nothing but OTK carts ahead of him. Up into second place, Cameron Nelson. Dan Holland racing, go one, two in the early stages. There is Oscar. Good show in the RLS cart. Up into fourth place, the Frenchman goes P4. Goes wide though, on the ripple strip. Knew it and looked over his shoulder as they go down the back straight for the first time. Kasper Nissan trying to make moves in that triple two. The RS competition cart, the Danish driver, the Danish team in the Tony cart. They're in sixth place, seventh place in fact. No, it is six, he's behind Dragos. The Austrian for MKC Motorsport, certainly one of the favorites here this weekend. Third in the Rotax Max Grand Finals, but as the Dan Holland Racing drivers go 1-2, Maximoff in P3 from Oscar. So Cameron behind Jacob Ashcraft, who goes wide that time. Nelson just follows his teammate through. The Union Jacks on our timing screen go first and second. They're also in eighth and ninth with Lewis Goff. And the first Jake, it's Woodsy in nine. Fluids drop back to 11. Jake Menton in 13. Jacob Ashcroft, P1, fastest qualifier on Friday by almost two tenths of a second. A 55 237 to take pole position from Dragos, who was fastest in the second group with a 55 384. Jacob, pole position, two heat wins. He too yesterday in his final heat. We're looking for Dragos, the MKC Motorsport cart. Coming across the line is the Austrian. He's in P6. Great start from the, uh, the Irish Emirati. Connor Clancy, 294. Moves up through the field for Strawberry Racing. As so they go down the back straight, Lewis Goff just behind. Good start from Lewis for Sam Pollock Racing. as Jake Woodsy goes purple in this sector, trying to make his way up through the field. It's Ashcroft, slightly wide on the exit. Lewis Goff on the podium at the Winter Cup in position eight, purple last time around, the Sam Pollock Racing driver. Reasonable run by his own high standards throughout the heat, or the heat races, and he comes onto the straight now, looks behind. Does Lewis, back to Jake Woodsy, uh, Jake Woodsy. Dragos drops back. Jake Fluitt has just got by the Austrian. Clips the ripple strip, does Jacob Ashcroft. Oscar down the inside. And takes Cameron Nelson who tries to fire it on back. Oscar defends, puts the card in the middle of the circuit. Cameron Nelson straight over the ripple strip. There's Casper Nissen right behind. This is lap four of 12. Jacob Ashcroft can't yet drive away. He has got two, maybe three card lengths. Officially, it's only a tenth of a second as they fight behind Casper Nissen. Under attack from Connor Clancy. There is Connor up into P5 now on the podium at Al Forzan at the end of 2023 racing in the Rotax Max Challenge over in the United Arab Emirates. As Jacob Ashcroft just gets the cart to hook up over the ripple strip, almost gets it airborne ever so slightly. The cart working nicely, the Lando Norris cart as Oscar in the background has to defend it. As Boas Maximoff down the inside and takes the lead away from Ashcroft for only the second time this weekend. The Dan Holland Racing drivers, second and third, to the Maximoff, Boaz takes the lead.
take a look at this. Down the back straight. Oscar in the background trying to defend. Jacob, those Mojo tyres have already raced three heats and half the pre-final this morning. Screeching for grip. But as Boaz Maximoff in the lead, but he gets taken back. Jacob says, not so fast. This race is mine. Ashcroft back into P1. And now Boaz Maximoff will have to respond quickly. He's passed by the second Den Holland racing driver. Nilsson, nicely done by Cameron. Up the inside, DHR back one and two. Clancy up into four. Connor Clancy, CC, trying to go position three. Fastest on the circuit at the moment is Ryan Cantor, the Canadian who had a tough run for KR Sports throughout the heats, but he's gone purple. Ryan Cantor just goes by Oli Weiss and Lorenzo Chacuinto. A 55-3. Sorry, a 56-3. And as the leaders fight, he is faster than them. You see Ryan Gandor, he was 13th across the line last time. The Canadian in the background, 2-0-9, he's in the pack. Boaz back down the inside, and the Dutchman splits the two Brits. It's Connor in four. Gandor, Ryan, now up into position 11 behind Grados. It's Nielsen, back into second place. The two Tony Karts cut touch. Maximoff and Connor Clancy. Lewis. Goff in P5 for St. Pollock Racing. On the podium at Campios in the Winter Cup. Lewis looking good here. Casper Nissen from Denmark's there as well. Jake Fluett, Jake Woodsy, Charles Geitley and Dragos. Back in position 10 ahead of Ryan Gandor. The Canadian for KR Sport. The world-class British team with their North American driver. But it's Dan Holland Racing who go 1-2. There's Lewis Goff trying to take Casper Nissen, but can't quite do it as we hone in on the 2-3-0 for Boulevard Power. Boaz Maximoff, the Dutch Minimax champion, the Belgian Minimax champion, trying to win the Belgian Cup here this weekend as part of round one of the Rotax Euro Trophy for 2024. Ashcroft in P1 as Charles Kitely goes purple. Kitely with a 56.247. The KR Sport team driver in position nine, just going through now. So four laps remaining in pre-final eight for Junior Max. Boaz Maximoff, who has twice tried to attack not one, but two Dan Holland racing drivers, the Lando Norris carts. Pre-final B with their teammates. The DHR in just a moment as Boaz back into second. Tom Strell from Latvia will start for pole position for pre-final B at the conclusion of this in three and a half laps time. You can see Jacob Ashcroft skates under brakes. Those Mojo tires have been tortured here this weekend at Genk in Belgium. Take a look at the replay just a moment ago. Boas Maximoff. Nicely done as he takes Cameron Nelson and splits the DHR duo. He's back into second. Can he catch Jacob? Astra, P1 with three laps remaining. Just under one mile for our friends watching on the other side of the English Channel is one lap of this world famous Genk circuit. Nelson back up the inside. Boas Maximoff has made more passes than anybody in this race for the same position to second and to first. But each time he's been taken back by both Jacob Ashcroft and Cameron Nelson. There's Connor Clancy, Casper Nissen, Jake Fluett. Lewis Goff has to defend now from Charles Geitley and Jake Woodsy. Ryan Gundor now up in a P10. That's better from the Canadian. Dragos back into 12. Struggling here this morning. Dragos. Abisil Kutai, the 14-year-old Austrian. Finished third in the Bahrain edition, or the first edition of the Grand Finals. Held in Bahrain back in 2021 in Micro Max. He was fourth in this race at Genk last year. 
a contender, Dragos. He was faster in his first group of qualifying. But the Austrian, he's now been passed by Jake Woodsy for 12. Dragos, the Austrian, is struggling. Jacob Ashcroft is pulling away on the penultimate lap of the race. Maxima, Boas fighting. There's Kasper up in a B4. Nissen from Clancy and Jake Fluett. The Dan Holland Racing Team right based at the famous English Wilton Mill Circuit, running first and third here at Genk in Belgium. Boaz Maximov for the Boulevard Power Team. Home circuit for the Dutch team with their Dutch driver, the Dutch Minimax champion in position too. But Jacob Ashcroft looking unstoppable, the fastest qualifier. He won here last week in the BNL series. He is last year's Rotax European Minimax champion. A star of the future? No, he's a star of today. His teammate fires that up the inside. He's gone through, he'll lose it on the exit as he tries to put Boaz into the grass. Maximoff is tolerating zero of that. Nissen is catching the both of them. Cameron back around the outside. Ashcroft will win. Pre-final A for Junior Max. He drives away as they fight for second place. Watch Nissen as Nelson on the outside tries to get the run. Over the bumps. Nissen up the inside. Sensational from the Dane. Casper goes through to take position three. Jacob Ashcroft wins. He will start on pole position for the final. Across the line, in position to his Maximov. Nissen with a super pass on the last lap of the race. Fired it down the inside of Cameron Nelson to come home for RS competition in P3. You saw that coming. Unfortunately, Cameron Nelson did not. He was lining up the Dutchman. As we take a look at the highlights of pre-final eight. Ashcroft from pole position. There was Dragos, who would ultimately fade to finish in 13th place, looking for a way through. Oscar around the outside, ultimately finishing in 12th ahead of the Austrian. Jacob Ashcroft, Cameron Nelson, the Dan Holland Racing. Running 1-2, Bowers Maximoff. That was just the first time he would launch an attack as Oscar Rochol followed him on through. Briefly, Oscar. 2-1-3 up into position three. Cameron Nelson soon retook the place. Connor Clancy was superb. The Irish Emirati for Strawberry Racing. As Jacob Ashcroft retook the lead from Boas Maximoff. On each occasion, the Dutchman passed him. Again, Maximoff down the inside of Nelson into second place. Ashcroft took him back. Nice pass by Jake Fluid to go on through the KR, the MLC Motorsport driver. Ultimately finishing ahead of the KR Sport driver, Ryan Gundor. Good recovery for the Canadian as Cameron Nelson back into second place. Lewis Goff had to defend. He would finish P9 in pre-final A for Junior Max. Jacob Ashcroft pulled away as they fought for second place. Ashcroft to win by 1.6 seconds. Nelson with the big Hail Mary into turn six. On the last lap of the race, Maximoff into second where he would finish. Casper Nissen came from a long way back, a super pass from the Dane to take position three. But Ashcroft wins. The Dan Holland Racing driver will start from pole position. That is provisional, put an asterisk beside that, that comment, that statement, but looks unstoppable. He has finished on two points at this stage of the weekend. Maximoff second, Nissen third. Nelson, then Clancy, Jake Fluid, Charles Kitely. Good recovery from Ryan Gundor. Lewis Goff in P9 on the podium at Campios. Finishing ahead of Jake Woodsy. Ashcroft, almost unstoppable. Pole position 48 hours ago. Two heat wins, a second last night, and a pre final, a hard fought pre final victory here this morning. Two points at this stage of the weekend, so. You could probably remove the asterisk from that statement. We'll say it's provisional. I have to say that. But he looks unstoppable. Tom Stadel to start on pole position for a moment. In a moment. Even if he does win pre-final B. We believe. My mathematics is less than poor. But Jacob Ashcroft 
on two points. Cannot be beaten for pole position for the final this afternoon. Junior Pre Final B for Rotax Max in just a moment. The Rotax Max Grand Finals to take place at Sano in October, the biggest kart racing event in the world, has raced at some of the most exotic locations as well. The first edition way back in 2000, one quarter of a century ago in Puerto Rico circuit. It does still exist. If you have nothing better to do, if you are watching us live, get out the phone, look out for the Puerto Rico circuit on Google Earth. I, I, I honestly forget the name of it. I haven't actually been there myself, but it does still exist. It does still host some races over in Puerto Rico. The host venue of the first ever Rotax Grand Finals 2001, Langkawi. That circuit certainly does still exist. Langkawi hosting the Grand Finals in 2001 and 2005. Zvart Kops hosting the African Cup just a couple of weeks ago, in fact. One of the few FIA homologated circuits on earth with a figure eight over and under bridge. 2002 host venue, 2003 Sharm El Sheikh in Egypt for the first time, Lanzarote in Spain in 04, then it was Malaysia, then it was Portugal, Portugal. Alain in the Emirates, La Conca, Murula Cheze for the first time in 2008, and then in 2010, Egypt in between. Some of the most exotic nations or places on earth as we look at the grid for pre-final eight for Junior B. New Orleans, 2013. Nola in Louisiana over a decade ago. Tom Stinnell on pole position. Noah Jensen out of two. Tix van Vijk. Tion's in the Gillard cart. Sadowski at Max. Then Stevens, Armstrong, Kobekite, Smith, Bran van der Berke, Schelles, Clark, Borgui, Martin Lickner, Yuri Levard, Polak, Bastian Ottensama, Antoine Lemieux, Rasmus, and Kubera. Jakob is ahead of Matis Omatreya, Marcel Thali, Matthias Kellera, and Eden Topcic from Germany. And the Kraft Motorsport team, the German driver, the German team, out of grid 24. Tom Strell, P2 in the Winter Cup. Oh, Adrian's Tions in the Gillard, the mighty Gillard TG17 chassis for MRG Racing. The two Latvians, one and four on the grid. Max Sadulski inside, third row of the grid. There is the Dutch driver in the French Soddy card. Alongside T. Stevens, also from the Netherlands. Rory Armstrong, 266, inside, critically. Inside, fourth row of the grid for the Northern Irishman. Kobe Kids here from Georgia, Rana van der Berke and Charlie Smith, the American, on the fifth row of the grid for Strawberry Racing. There is Charlie, United States Pro Kart Series race winner last year in Utah. Out of grid 10, it is Tom's on pole. We don't race. Another formation lap. Look at Noah from the outside front row of the grid, tapping the helmet with the right or the left index finger says, let's think about this, boys. I doubt anybody, any of the other 23 cards were paying any attention to the German. Has been quick, Noah Janssen. Dual Motorsport, the German team, 
also racing in GT4 and GT3 in the ADAC GT Masters. World Karting, WSK World Karting, the Rotax Euro Trophy together. Engines tuned by Stan Pex himself. Together with the Dorm Motorsport team, they are pitted together here at Genk in Belgium. It is a Cup Republic for Noah. It is Tom's on the Lando Norris cart. Again, OTK cards dominating the front of the grid here. Max Sadulski out of grid five in the Soddy cart. And Noah Janssen in the KR out of grid two. It is Tom's on pole position, the Latvian to lead the field up to the line. Pre-final B for Junior Max. Round one of the Rotax Euro Trophy here at Genk in Belgium, the home of champions. This time, we race. Janssen misses the start, tries to hold the high line. Perfect start from Tom Stadel. It is getting messy down through turn one. Super start from Max Sadulski. And the Soddy cart goes up into P3. Tins van Vijk up into second place. Fabulous launch from Max. There's Adrian Stiens in the Gillo cart who defends in fourth place. He's got 19 carts bearing down right behind him. Fran van der Berke having an incident on the opening few corners. Rejoining but way down at the bottom of the field. Tom Stadel from pole position. Leads as Noah Janssen from grid two is passed again. He loses another position. That is Stevens going on by. So T. Stevens makes the move on the German who started from grid two. We'll see where Janssen comes across the line. He's lost a ton of time. From the outside front row, he's back in P6. Toms from Tees. And then Max Sadowski. Armstrong up into fourth place. Great start from the Northern Irishman for Strawberry Racing. As Toms just rides the ripple strip. Tees van Vijk, younger brother of Yort. Makes the move down the inside. And the Dutchman goes on through. Nicely done by Tees van Vijk for Bouvan Power. He goes through to take the lead. Nice clean pass. Threll back into second. Sadulski. In the Soddy Card P3, the Dutchman, one and three. Rory Armstrong just behind. Take a look at this. This was a perfect pass. Tease Van Vijk, who knows this 1,360 meter circuit oh so well. Just pulled out at the last possible moment. Made the move to go on through. Nicely done. Rory Armstrong, who's been racing in the Rotax Euro Challenge for the past couple of seasons. Actually finishing on the podium. Did Rory finishing in, I have to stretch the memory, second or third in 2022 in Mini Max. As we see, up the inside, T. Stevens go on through. Armstrong, the driver to watch out for. There's Jansen in the background. Armstrong finishing on the podium 2022. That was in Mini Max. A superstar from Rory for Strawberry Racing. We now have a new race leader as we start lap four of 12 of pre final B for Junior Max. T. Stevens from Van Vike. Tom's just sits there in third place. Sadulski, Jansen, Armstrong, Charlie Smith, the American. That's better from CS ahead of Clark. Bastian Ottensummer, the Austrian. From near on the back of the grid, he's now up inside the top 10. He's in nine ahead of the Gillard cart of the Latvian Tians. T. Stevens, T. Van Vijk, the Dutchman. Go one, two. Tom Svell just sits there in third place. His teammate, of course, Jacob Ashcroft. We can now confidently say he will not be beaten for pole position for the final later this afternoon. Nice move there by Polak. You just saw in the background the Austrian going on by to pick up Adrian Stiens. He's now up into 10th place. Kevin Polak in the Croc promotion cart. 
for the MTM team. Just saw that in the background, just lined up and took Tians, who was sixth earlier on in the race. Otten Sama charging on through the field. Bastian from the ninth row of the grid, grid 17, now up into eight. Behind Rory Armstrong, who's faded. He's back into seventh after getting that great start to be in P4. The Tony Karts one and two, the Latvian for Dan Holland Racing, head of Sadulski. That was Paul Gui going through, head of Alma Trier, Yuri Lever, Yuri Lever, Martin Lickner, Brand van der Berka. After being pushed wide on the opening few corners, the Belgian recovering some places. Back into 18th, head of Rasmus, Foley, Topcic, Kobakitze, and Antoine Lemieux is the final runner. Clark with a 56 triple two, fastest lap of the race. Kai 267 for KR Sport. Here's the graphic, the bottom left of your screen. That's a quick time, considering the age of most of these drivers, Mojo tires. The temperature still warm here, not quite as warm as yesterday. The sun at times is shining here. The 14th day of April, round one of the Rotax Euro Trophy. Max Saturski goes on through. Three drivers mark the Netherlands in the top four. That was Bram van der Berke going on through, fighting with Yuri Lamar. Bouvan power entry. Just took Yuri Lamar. This is Stevens from Van Wyk and Tom Stadel, vice champion in the Winter Cup behind Jacob Ashcroft. As it stands at this halfway point of pre-final beat, this statement definitely is provisional. Ashcroft pole position for the final. Boas Maximoff out of two. Tom Strell, unless he can do something in the second half of pre-final beat, will start group three. Maybe no bad thing. Right behind his teammate Jacob Ashcroft. Second row of the group, but critically on the inside. Noah Janssen, who's dropped down to P6. The German who started out of grid two. Just coming into the right-hander now is the German. Head of Armstrong, Ottensemmer, the fastest driver on the circuit. Although I speak too soon because Rayana Borgui has gone through with a 56-1-2-1. Marginally faster than T. Stevens on your screen, the race leader. Good drive from Max Sadulski to stay there in P5. Credit also to the Czech, Jakob Kubera, who started back on the 10th row of the grid and is now behind Polak and Tions in 12th place. The second Soddy car, the first of which is Max Sadulski. Here comes the Belgian Sunshine. As you look at the KR car, just ahead of Sadulski, that's Kai Clark. He goes purple with a 55-9. Clark is the fastest on circuit, you can see as he rides the bump in front of the grandstand, tries to take position three. Tom Stadel defends, he goes up the inside anyhow. Fabulous pass by Kai Clark. They go side by side, Tom's is staring at him. Oh wow! Strill holds off Clark for the moment. 1.08 k's an hour for Tom Stadel. 1.07, that was the difference between third and fourth position. Tom Stadel from Latvia will not be intimidated. There is Sadulski behind. Jansen, Armstrong, Bastian, the Austrian. Charlie Smith and Tions in the background as well. Sadulski now defending from Noah Jansen for Dual Motorsports. Turns him around. Contact between Jansen and Sadulski. Now Rory Armstrong, he picks up three positions. That was a clean pass by Rory. Well, we probably cannot say the same. We'll try and get a replay of what happened. Sadurski and Jansen, they are fighting in the final stages of pre-final beat. Noah, take a look at this. Just ran out of road to be fair. Noah Jansen did try and give him space. He turned in up onto the ripple strip. Tried to avoid the back of him. Sadurski has crossed the line in position 22.
Before we start pointing fingers, let's just remember this is racing. We're not playing croquet here. Fighting for the final stages. Pre-final B for Junior Max. Round one of the Rotex Euro Trophy. In fact, Zadurski has now retired. The Dutchman is out. The Dutchman do still lead, though. As you look at Kai Clark, right drive from Kai. 267 for KR Sport. On the back of Tom Strell. Stevens, Van Weyck, Strell, Kai Clark, Bastian. Super drive from the Austrian. Arten Semmer from Rory Armstrong, Charlie Smith, the American in P7. Jansen still there in eight. Tienz and Matthias Kelly it up. The Dane from the back of the grid from 23rd. Matthias Kelly it up from Denmark. Matthias Kelly it up. Now up into 10th place. Tom Strell, you saw him skate under brakes on the penultimate lap of the race. Kai Clark all, all over the back of the Latvian. The KR Sport team driver. Team manager, team owner, Ashley Orchard watching on. His charger trying to take P3 on the last lap of the race. The Dutch drivers in P1 and 2, so therefore it's time to break out the famous line. This is the last round for the three piloten from the Netherlands in the first positions. T. Stevens, T. Van Vyke, the Dutchman 1 and 2. Tom Strell rides the ripple strip. Kai Clark for KR Sports got the speed though. As they go down the back straight. Tom's defense. Watch Kai sweep around the outside. Down through the chicane. Stevens from Van Vyke for Boulevard Power. It is on for position three. How good will the final be this afternoon? Of course, you can catch that live on Motorsport TV. This is just the pre final. Pre final B, it will be a Dutch victory. Has Tom's the Latvian defense. One more opportunity, you know it's coming up. Stevens will win it from Van Vyke, the fight for third. Tom's goes defensive, he'll be slow on the exit. Puts the cards in the middle of the circuit. Stevens wins, Van Vyke. Tom Strell holds on to third. Kai Clark, he's unimpressed. Bastian, superb from the Austrian to come home ahead of Charlie Smith, the American in P6. Highlights of pre-final B, Tom Stadel from pole position trying to take two Dan Holland Racing. Pre-final victory, super start from Max Zadulski. Unfortunately, would finish down in 20 seconds position. Thies van Vijk up the inside and the Bullbarn Racing team driver went on through to take the lead. Stevens, his countryman though, still at Tony Kart. The Dutchman trading positions. Tom Stadel defending from Kai Clark, who was superbly quick. Kai would finish with the fastest lap of the race of 55, 974. But the Latvian would put the Dan Holland Racing Cup right in the middle of the circuit when he needed to. Tom's just staring at the Brit, almost pushing him into the grass. Noah Jansen in the background. In traffic, this was the moment of the race right there. Jansen trying to give him room at Sadursky taking the racing line. They came together, Sadursky out. No Jansen finishing down in ninth place. So the Dutchman, 1-2 in pre-final B. T. Stevens from T. Van Bike. Strell does hold off Kai Clark. Storming drive from Bastian Ochtensammer. The Austrian Ochtensammer, I should say, ahead of Charlie Smith. Came from 17th on the grid, did Bastian. The KSB Racing Team, the Austrian KSB Racing Team, who spent most of the season, as well as the Rotax Euro Trophy, racing in the Italian Rotax Max Challenge, also the Eastern European Zone Championship. Bastian P5 from Charlie Smith, Tions. Rory Armstrong P8. Head of Noel Jansen for Dual Motorsport, and Matthias for Aris Competition from the back of the grid, coming home P10.
The Rotax Max Grand Finals to take place at Sarno Tierquito Internazionale in Napoli. I was telling you about the history of the biggest kart racing event in the world just prior to pre-final B for Junior Max. Yes, some of the most exotic locations in the world have hosted the Rotax Grand Finals. We got halfway through the history lesson. La Conca Muro Lecese, World Circuit in the south of Italy, 2008 and 2010. The Ghibli Circuit in Egypt. After being hosted in Sharm El Sheikh in 2003, Egypt hosting for the second time in 2009. Al Ain in the Emirates also hosting. It was in 2011. Al Ain, of course, to host venue circuit for the United Arab Emirates. Rotax Max Challenge Portugal in 2012. New Orleans, Louisiana. What a fantastic event that was with the United States Air Force flying an FA-18 over the circuit moments after the national anthem. You've got to love the Americans. They are awesome at putting on events. One of the biggest ever was New Orleans in 2013 at the Nola Motorsports Park in Louisiana in the deep south. No one got eaten, by the way, eaten. Yeah, they were telling me that at that circuit, there are alligators just a couple of miles from the circuit, which sometimes, well, do wander on by. I'm not kidding you. 2014 Valencia in Spain, 2015 Portimao in Portugal. That was fantastic. Sano for the first time in 2016. Portimao again in Portugal. 2018 in Brazil. What an incredible race that was. Sano for the second time in 2019. 2020. Yeah, you know what happened to the world there. Cancelled because of the C word which I can't bring myself, have zero respect for it, can't mention the C word. No, not that one. The other C word. COVID, ah, oh, damn it, I said it. Bahrain in 2021, Portimao again in 22. Bahrain again just a few months ago. The Bahrain International Circuit. And this year, Sano, as you saw just a few moments ago on your screen, hosting the 2024 Rotax Grand Finals. This is senior pre-final A, the cart's coming out onto the circuit. Being led by Mac B, Macaulay Bishop, the fastest qualifier in form this weekend. Jaden Tian, the DHR out of two. Sean Butcher, KR Sport, Teresa Babichka, the Mark Kimber, world finals champion, Thomas. Fastest lap in his final heat last night. That's Behrman, Omar Ganem from the Emirates, King Garrity, Denny Shields, and Amman Hamilton. Paul Hamburg's Vieta Uber for the GKS Lemons team on their home server. Tom and Debian, Laurent Legault, Sebastian Koch, Georges Nassar, Jorf van Vijk, Christopher Holz and Mario Seidler. Strawberry racing out of 20, Benjamin Devant, Alexon Ames, Zeno Falke, the German, Russell Kukakite from Georgia, Luca Brima, Hamza Alfayez, Dumont, Kidikos, Krit Nuren, Dante Chima, Alex Volta, the Romanian, Senior Ornbal. Ornbal has scraped into the pre-final. Vasil, Apostoloski, Tumingus, and Sam Bergstein with an almighty task. The Dutchman on Group 35 to make it through for the final. We had 90 drivers arrive at this famous Belgian circuit earlier in the week for round one of the Rotax Euro Trophy. You can see the breeze picking up here. A beautiful springtime day here in the Limburg region, not too far from the Dutch border. 90 drivers divided into third group, three groups. Macaulay Bishop, Mac B, pole position, 54-0-1-2. Starting alongside Jaden Tian, who was fastest in the second group of qualifying. Jaden Tian, the recent Winter Cup champion. A world-class field here, but it is Dan Holland racing who lock out the front row of the grid. Watch for Sean Butcher. Electrifying form for the KR Sport team on the second row of the grid. Alongside Teresa Babichkova for Hunter Motorsport. There is Teresa, the former W Series racer. The Women's Series, or the sadly now aborted Formula 3 W Series. Teresa, a front runner in that. And she's a front runner here this weekend in the all new CS55 cart for Hunter Motorsport. Of course, Kai Hunter on the grid for pre-final B in just a moment. His brother, older brother, Reese Hunter. Watching on the first of their drivers, Teresa Wabishkova, 363, to the left of your screen. 
will be the pole setter, Macaulay Bishop, up to the line. We race. Dan Holland racing. Go one, two. This contact just behind. Wow. Hamilton, Keenan and Garrity coming together. Tereza back into P4. Sean Butcher launches it up the inside. Sean goes through to P3. Takes Tereza. Bishop with the race lead from JDMT and the Dan Holland Racing duo who started 1-2 on the grid. They go 1-2 down the back straight. Tereza defends Butcher. Is just ahead. And Mark Kimber, the former Grand Finals World Champion, behind him, P5. Mark Kimber getting strong at the right time of the weekend for Strawberry Racing. All over the back of Tereza Babichkova. She looks right. Keeps it straight down into the grandstand right-hander. A clean start for the most part with the exception of Svede Uben, who's come off at turn six. Svede Uben for the legendary GKS Lemons team based here at this circuit. The Belgian driver is the first retirement as Macaulay Bishop has got the race lead. Jaden in second place. Sean Butcher for KR Sport. There's Fede Uben in the background. The GKS Lemon Striper is out. Tereza from position three. She's back into seventh pass by Omar Ganom. Mark Kimba. Also Thomas Behrman on the charge. Second senior race for the Brits. Hold position at the Winter Cup recently down in the south of Spain at Campios, the KR Sport driver. In 3-2-2, Sean Butcher also for KR Sport. is in third place. Den Holland racing 1 2. Mac B goes wide. Jaden tries to take his teammate. He'll probably push him across the line. In fact, he dives out to try and take the lead. The two teammates fight. Jaden goes on through. Bishop back to second. Butcher, Kiba. Omar ahead of Tadeza. The Emirati up in a P5. Superstar for the XL Motorsport team. Butcher up inside, tries to split the two DHR drivers. Fisher back in front. It is on in pre-final A. In senior Max. Mac B goes position one. Here's Babichkova for Hunter Motorsport. Behind Mark Kimba. Here's the former World Grand Finals champion. Winning in 2021, the biggest kart racing event in the world. As we see the two teammates fight again. Butcher up the inside. Butcher tries to split the DHR duo. Wow! From the two teammates here. But they keep a clean Sean on the back of Jaden. It's Bishop, in fact. Jaden's got the lead. Bishop in second. Butcher's there. Here comes MK. Another retirement at the top of the hill. Russell is out. And Beeman as well. Thomas Beeman is out. No! No, no, no! Thomas Behrman, who took pole position at the recent Winter Cup. Set fastest lap of the race in his third and final heat yesterday. Has come together, we believe, with Russell. The two Brits out. A ferocious start to the pre-final B. There's Babichkova from Denny Shields for Hamburg. Omar for the XL team. It is violent here in the early stages of pre-final A. Babichkova has come to grief as well. Tereza is out. Tereza Babichkova. Babichkova up into third place in the early stages of the race. A slight correction. Thomas Behrman has continued on. He's half a lap behind, but down in 33rd place. Still circulating. And will be praying for DNFs to try and make up some positions here. In pre-final A for Senior Max. Fisher, Butcher, and Mark Kimber for Strawberry Racing. Jaden Tien. Denny Chilt is flying. The yellow flag into the final corner. Let's see who ignores it. Yep, there was one. It appeared, let me say that, it appeared. As so though George's NASA in the 308 car did pass under yellows. It's not my decision. 
CCTV all around the circuit. They will look at that, but George has NASA. Don't be surprised if he's placed under investigation. So Bishop, Kimber, Butcher, Jaden Town, there's Denny Shields. Mark Kimber, that's in Kane 350. The British champion, the Grand Finals champion, is Mark for Strawberry Racing in 2021. As we see two carts in the background going off. Alexander Arm and George's Nassar. A disastrous race for the Jordanian. George's Nassar, sorry, the Emirati. Two incidents in the single lap. This is half race distance. Nice move down the inside from Jaden Tian to go back on through. 393, that's Debian Roost, the Dutchman. The CS55 cards. And the response is immediate from Kimba. And Jaden loses two positions. There's Butcher just ahead. Macaulay Bishop with the race lead recently making world headlines in our great sport with that outrageous move at Wilton Mill to take victory two weeks ago in the British O plate. A fantastic pass. I don't know how many thousands of views, but he deserves all the credit. Macaulay Bishop, Mac B, who's got the race lead from Butcher and Kimber for the moment. It's Jaden Tian, Roost just behind. Denny Shields, Omar for the XL Motorsport team. <laughs> Waving just ahead. As you see Devon ride the ripple strip, this is Sean Butcher. Animated is Omar behind Denny Shields. Ahead of the Estonian, Paul Hamburg. Sean Butcher for the KR Sport team. Knows this circuit oh so well after two times winning the BNL Championship here. Mark Kimber is a place behind, albeit two seconds further back down the road. Mark Kimber taking the grand final suit in 2021. Some three years ago, Sean Butcher was on that same podium in third place. Now he's in second. It's Macaulay Bishop, the fastest qualifier for Dan Holland Racing, who's got the race lead. Retirements now include Alexander Arm. We'll get back to that in a moment. Sean down the inside. He's taken the lead away. Macaulay Bishop looks behind him not once but twice. Back to his Dutch teammate Jaden Tian. Who's two seconds behind Sean Butcher. The KR Sport is the race leader. Nice pass. Waited for the moment. Lined him up and took the lead away from Mac B and pulling away as well. Four laps remaining at the end of this one. The retirements, Alexander Alm, Alexander Alm is out. Thomas Bamman has retired, as has Therese Babichkova. Russell Sveta Uben for the home GKS Lemon team. Out on the first lap. And Tom Langlois is also out. Roost down the inside. Takes a place from Jaden, who gets him back on the exit. Kimber in 350 for Strawberry Racing for Omar for the XL Motorsport team. In the background, watch Omar as Roost almost into the grass. He's off the road. Oh, wow. Kimber around the outside. Roost is out. Unbelievable here. The list of retirements goes on. Omar is the driver who took big advantage of that. Roost is out. Kimber around the outside. MK took the most of both of them. Debian Roost. The Dutchman from P4. He came from the seventh row of the grid. Here's Kimber in 350. Omar just behind for the XL Motorsport team. The team of Kevin Day, based over in Dubai in the Emirates. A world-class team. Also competing in Formula 4 and Formula 3. And the Rotax Euro Challenge is he has a look up the inside. Does Omar in 365. Roost is out. As is Benjamin Damon, senior on ball. We're down to 28 of the original 36 starters. Kimba, the former grand finals champion. 
Just ahead of Paul Hamburg, who makes the move up the inside. Nicely done. And the Estonian for KR Sport, Omar, fights back. Two laps now remaining. Sean Butcher for KR Sport. Macaulay Bishop, they have no idea of the drama which has unfolded just behind. As you see, Laurent Legault, the Canadian, gets by the Emirati. There is the Kiwi Hungarian, Armand Hamilton. Up into P8 now. Head of Denny Shields and Hamza al from Jordan in the Middle East. Well, we had a sedate start to the morning's pre-finals. The DD2 Masters, DD2, they got us off to a nice start. But boy, has it kicked off in the penultimate pre-final here this morning. Round one of the Rotex Euro Challenge here at Gink, Belgium, the home of champions. Royst is out, Onbol, Demond, Aim, Damon is out, Longwa, Tedez Babishkova, Deacon Russell for MLC Motorsport has retired, and Svede Uben, the legendary GKS Lemons team on their home circuit. Uben was out on the first lap of the race. This is the last lap, and Sean has got the race lead for the KR Sport team. Team manager, team owner, Denny Orchard, watching on. Sean Butcher to start inside, second row of the grid. For the final, Macaulay Bishop in second place, does not need to pass, he can just stay there. He will start on pole position for the final later this afternoon. Of course, live right here on Motorsport TV. Bishop will finish on two points, Jaden Tian on nine. Jaden currently in third place, this is the last lap, this is the last corner. But give credit to Sean Butcher and the KR Sports team from England. They take that checkered flag to win pre-final A in senior Max. Mac B in P2. He will start from pole position. Macaulay Bishop, there's his teammate. Jaden Tian. Dan Holland racing. Lock out the front row of the grid for the final this afternoon. Round one of the Rotax Euro Trophy here at Genk in Belgium. George's NASA crosses the line in 27th there. The highlights of a ferocious pre-final lay for Senior Max. Making contact, King Garrity, in fact, it was. Did well to recover in 13th place as Teresa Babishkova. She was passed by Sean Butcher. And the two teammates fought. Jaden T and Macaulay Bishop. They traded positions multiple times. And Sean Butcher says, no worries, boys. I'll take the both of you. He just waited. Firstly going by Macaulay Bishop. They defended his swoop to the left, to the right. Butcher thought, what's going on here? I'll let you take each other out. They almost did. Butcher down the inside. And that time, Jaden Tian had to give him space. Foot back though. Sean held his nerve. The KR Sport driver splitting the two Dan Holland racing entries. Mark Kimber, the driver on the charge, MK. Up into second, would ultimately finish in fourth for Strawberry Racing as the list of retirements grew longer. Mark Kimber, firstly going by Jaden Tien, who responded on the Brit. Devian Royce in the all-new CS55 card was super quick from the seventh row of the grid up into fourth place, but would ultimately join the long list of retirements. Butcher through into the lead on Macaulay Bishop. Royst down the inside to take Jaden, who put him into the grass. Royce says no problem. It was ferocious in pre-final eight for Senior Max. Omar from the Emirates coming home in seventh place, but it was Sean Butcher to win pre-final eight for the KR Sport team. Macaulay Bishop P2, and that's enough for the Dan Holland Racing Driver to secure pole position for the final later this afternoon. Jaden Tian third, the Winter Cup champion, will join his DHR teammate on the front row of the grid for the final. That is provisional, of course. Kimba Hamburg, Laurent Legault, Omar for the XL Motorsport team. Great drive from the Emirati. Aman Hamilton, the Kiwi Hungarian, Hamza al from Jordan, and Christopher Holtz avoided the carnage. The Swiss driver beats home Denny Shields for 10th place.
great drive from Hamza al -Fayez. while all that was taking place. He came from 27th to finish in P9. We'll take a very short break from Genk here in Belgium and then back for our final pre-final of the morning, pre-final B for Senior Max. You're watching us live on Motorsport TV, round one of the 2024 Rotax Max Road Trophy.
Back here at Genk in Belgium for the final pre-final of the morning. Senior Max, what a pulsating race that was just a few moments ago for pre-final eight. This is pre-final B to determine the grid for the Senior Max final this afternoon. I may have spoken a little bit too soon as the car's coming out onto the circuit. Macaulay Bishop, we, can, we believe he cannot be beaten for the front row start off the final. We'll get back to that in a moment. Kai Hunter starts on pole position in the new CS55 cart. Lewis Gilbert out of two. Stevens, Kater McQueen, Matthew Higgins, Matisse out of six. Olivier Yonkers for the dance racing team. Austin Lee, Ethan Jeff Hall, former junior Euro champ. And Kiko Fracassi out of ten. Seidler and Nielsen, the Swiss and Danish drivers. Papa Chena, Boloet, another Belgian. Tommy van der Stroes, Rafael Jesus from Angola in the southwest of Africa. Martin Varga. William Antrobus, Anya Lavar, Lucas Legel, Jan Pinto from the Holy Land of Israel. And then it's Alex Duncan, Emma Scarborough from North Carolina in the United States of America. Simon Bulbarella, Santari Latinen, Lauri Lepa, Abdullah, the three fins together. Tyler Harris is next. Alexandre Lemaire, Lawrence Herbol, Principali, Kyle Tukru, who raced in DD2 in the Winter Cup, Principali. Is beside the Estonian. Karol Kaminski, Patrick Lipovic, two DNFs for the KMS Euro driver from Hungary throughout the heats. Ilya Shermeta from Latvia and Arno Savara for the KMS Euro team, the Canadian out of Group 36. There is Kai Hunter, Hunter Motorsport. Just looking at the points at this stage of the weekend, Macaulay Bishop, two points, Jaden Tien on nine. Sean Butcher on nine in third on countback. So we believe that Macaulay and Jaden will still share the front row of the grid regardless of what happens in pre-final B with points to be added. That is provisional. Put a big asterisk beside that statement because my mathematics is less than poor. Great to have your company here at Genk in Belgium, the home of champions. Round one of the Rotax Euro Trophy for 2024. 239 drivers from 40 nations, but it's the Brits who lock out the front row of the grid for our final pre-final of the morning for Senior Max. Kai Hunter, the champion of everything in Rotax over the past decade, alongside Louis Gilbert for Kraft Motorsport from Germany. Dick Stevens, Kater McQueen, Matthew Higgins, who'll also be racing in the GT Cup Europe Championship for Aston Martin in 2024. Watch Olivier Yonkers just behind him for the Belgian Dems racing team. We race for the final pre-final this morning as Kater McQueen ducks out to try and get track position. Huge crash down into turn two. Five cards off into the grass. Two go straight ahead and cut the circuit. It is Kai who's got the race lead. Right behind is Vic Stevens. There are the two drivers, the three drivers involved. They have cut the circuit though. Oh, you can't just rejoin, boys. You know what's coming. Kai Hunter, meanwhile, though, has got the race lead, a perfect start from the Brit. As we see Lewis down the inside. Gilbert from the outside front row of the grid, trying to recover positions. He's back in P3. Kai Hunter leads across the line for the first time. A scattered field after that huge first corner incident. Dives down the inside. Higgins goes on through. Matthew takes the lead. There's Lewis behind Kai. He's trying to go by. Hunter in second place. That's Stevens. Matisse from La France. Right there in five ahead of Ethan Jeff Hall, the former junior Rotax champion. Let's check out quickly some of the drivers involved in that. Martin Varga, Santari Latinen, Yonkers was in it, as was Nord Nielsen. Emma Scarborough, she was involved, but she did avoid most of the damage. The American still circulating behind Kyle Tukru as Kai goes by. Hunter back in the lead. The all-new Carlos Sainz, the CS55 cart from OTK together with the current Ferrari Formula One Grand Prix driver. As you see, Stevens down the inside of Gilbert to go back into third place. We settle into some sort of rhythm. It is kicking off behind, though. Austin Lee, the German. Matthias, 
from France and Tommy van der Struijs. Papa Jenner, Tyler Harris, Duncan Bulbarella, William Antrobe, superstar from the Argentine. Simon Bulbarella carved his way through that first corner incident and the South American made up 10 places in the first two laps. Disjointed the start, but it's as hectic as ever as Kai Hunter defends from Matthew Higgins. The British champion behind the British champion. Kai Hunter gets the momentum in that middle sector, puts in a purple sector, in fact. Pulls out two tenths of a second in that sector, and you can see as Gilbert down the inside. Lewis goes back on through. Nicely done by Gilbert, who won the final round of the Euro Trophy at his home circuit of PFI in 2023. Looking to start the Euro Trophy as he ended last year's Euro Trophy. He's now into second. Higgins back to third. Stevens, Caden McQueen, and Ethan Jeff Hall. Caden fighting with Vic. Goes on through the KR Sport driver. Ethan Jeff Hall for Sam Pollard, racing the former junior Euro champion in the x and P6, looking for a way by. He's got the speed, but not the track position. Austin Lee, Tommy van der Struijs. It is on in senior max. Harris going through, Pinto, Antrobert, Schegel, Boluet, Fracassi, Lepa, Lauren Herbal, Kaminski, Atala, Tuklu, Alexander, Raphael, who, Jesus, the Angolan, head of the American, Emma Scarborough. Hunter still in the race lead, there are the Kraft Motorsport drivers. Tyler Harris, Jan Pinto, an up and down weekend for the Israeli. Hunter with the race lead, not for long. Lewis goes on through, nicely done by Gilbert. And still the Brits first, second and third. It's Gilbert from Hunter and Matthew Higgins. The Union Jacks first, second and third on our timing screens. Pulparella, the Argentine behind Deke, a Duncan, head of Tyler Harris and Jan Pinto. This is the battle for the lead. Kai Hunter, the British driver for the German team, Kraft Motorsports. Spectacular, this is into turn six. Just a few moments ago, it is a passing opportunity. It is tight. World-class drivers, Hunter to give him room. Playing the long game is Kai. Even if he does finish in second, he will join Macaulay Bishop. On the front row of the grid for the final, we believe, and I have to put a big what if question mark, asterisk, whatever you'd like behind this statement. We believe Macaulay Bishop will start on pole position for the final, regardless. I think. Kai back into the lead. Hunter for the Hunter Motorsport team. Not for long. Gilbert retakes him. They have to be careful here. Matthew Higgins for Dan Holland Racing. He's now being caught by Tommy van der Struijs and Vic Stevens. That Vic's been passed as Kater McQueen, who's gone on through. Here's Tommy in P4. The second Kraft Motorsport entry. They're running in first and fourth. There is a yellow flag at the final corner for Kyle Tukru, the Estonian. The leaders are coming at the opposite end of the track. Kyle Tukru, the Estonian, has retired along with Anja Lavard. Anja Lavard, that is. She is out, unfortunately. It looks as though her weekend is over. Lewis Gilbert for Kraft Motorsport. Head of Hunter Motorsport. The team of Kai and Reese Hunter. Based at the Warden Law Circuit just outside Sunderland in the Kings, England. There's the yellow flag, double waved yellow, cannot pass. So that gives Lewis some sort of breathing space. The first four pull away. We'll see who ignores the yellow flag this time. Yeah, there was one further back in the pack. Looking out the window. Pleading ignorance, I won't actually name the driver because it was picked up by the team here at Genk in Belgium. As we see Tommy van der Struijs. Race officials saw the double wave yellow. 
It wasn't Tommy. He made the move under green. Let's just say the drivers somewhere between 15th and 20th did pass under full course yellow blatantly. Yeah, they've got news for the final this afternoon. As we see the German team running one and three. This is Tommy van der on Matthew Higgins. Up into turn six. This was a clean pass. This was a green pass. And Tommy goes through on Matthew. But it's Lewis Gilbert for Kraft Motorsport. The Blue Machines, they are racing Tony Kart chassis. And they run one, two. Nicely done by van der Stroes. The Dutchman goes through and follows his English teammate for the German team. Kraft Motorsport, one, two. Hunter back into third. Then it's Higgins, Vic Stevens, Austin Lee. Also for the German Kraft Motorsport team. McQueen, Seidler, Ethan Jeff Hall in the background. Duncan. Hunter in position three. Two trios in the first six. Here's Austin Lee, the German-American Filipino driver. In the third, Kraft Motorsport Karts. Austin in 347. Four laps now remaining in our final pre-final of the morning. They come across the line. Zero point nothing between the two teammates and they trade positions. Tommy van der Stroyes, Jan Mickey Banan, and the Dutchman goes into the lead. Three and a half laps remaining in pre-final B. Macaulay Bishop watching on from pit lane. Can't be beaten, I think, for pole position for the final as we look at the two teammates to the left of your screen. Nice pass. Lewis gave him space. Lewis to start the outside second row of the grid for the final this afternoon, which will be live on Motorsport TV. There's Vic Stevens from Higgins, Lee, Tino Seitler from Switzerland, McQueen, Jeff Hall, Duncan. Tyler Harris drops back to 18th position. Bolo Wett is out. Bolo Wett has now retired. Had an incident out of 13th position as Rafael Jesus is put under investigation. I told you someone passed under full course yellow, or under double waved yellow, I should say. And now we see Rafael Jesus is placed under investigation. Do speak too soon, though, because apologies. Bo Luet is still there, vice champion in the Road Tax Grand Finals. It was a timing issue as he dropped off our screen, but he's still circulating. Head of Jan Pinto, Herbo, Antrobus, Bulbarella, Attila. Two laps remaining, though, for the Kraft Motorsport team drivers. Tommy from Lewis. Vic Stevens, the Belgian, here in Belgium. In P3, Higgins. Hunter's been passed. Austin Lee goes by. The Kraft Motorsport drivers, one, two, and five. Kai goes back to P6. Looks over his shoulder. He won the BNL Championship right there at this circuit in 2023. As we see Lewis back in the lead. At this stage of the race of the weekend of the pre-final, Macaulay Bishop on two points. Jaden Tien on nine points. Hunter on nine. Butcher on nine. Lewis Gilbert on 11 points. But with that move, it will update as they come across the line to start the last lap at the end of this one. Perfectly smooth from Lewis Gilbert, 3-4-3. Tommy is 3-5-4. Austin, 3-4-7. Kraft Motorsport from Germany. Racing in the Central European Zone Championships, the Italian Rotax Max Challenge, and of course, the World Finals and the Rotax Euro Trophy. They go 1-2 as we start the last lap of the pre-final. Lewis Gilbert, with that move, has got the race lead and moves to fourth overall in the points to start alongside Kai Hunter in the final this afternoon. The sun comes out to shine. This is the last lap of our last pre-final round one of the 2024 Rotax Euro Trophy presented for the very first time by WSK Promotion. There's Hunter, the pole sitter in the new CS55 card in the background. Sixth overall. In this, the final lap of the race, but fourth on the grid provisionally for the final. They'll bolt on a new set of mojos as we race for the first round of the 2024 Rotax Euro Trophy. Here again, the home of champions. 
Craft Motorsport go one, two. Lewis from Tommy. Gilbert will take the checkered flag and the victory. Gilbert P4 overall. So provisionally will start grid four for the final. Macaulay Bishop to start on pole position. We'll get to that in just a moment. But Gilbert wins the pre-final, the Kraft Motorsport team. What a performance, one, two, and five. Gilbert van der Strijs, Stevens Higgins, and Austin Lee. Kai Hunter from pole position as it kicked off behind. It was Lewis Gilbert down into turn four, and there was carnage, which took out a good half a dozen drivers, three of which cut the circuit and were immediately placed under investigation. Patrick Libovic was also in that first corner incident and the Hungarian was out. Kai Hunter assumed the race lead. But it was the Kraft Motorsport drivers who fought back from being on the outside, the notorious outside to get their back, the way back into the lead. This was the move for the lead from Lewis Gilbert. Kata McQueen in the background going on through. The KR Sport driver would ultimately finish in P7. Kai and Lewis fighting there with Matthew Higgins, who would finish fourth for Dan Holland Racing. But it was Tommy van der Stroes who took Kai Hunter to make it a Kraft Motorsport 1-2. Vic Stevens down the inside of Higgins. That was a nice move going down into the chicane. The teammates traded positions. They did some mathematics down in pit lane. Lewis needed to win. Tommy gave him space. Lewis Gilbert wins the pre-final to line up on P4 for the final later this afternoon. Gilbert wins though. Kraft Motorsport 1, 2 and 5 with Gilbert van der Strauss and Austin Lee. Stevens in P3. Matthew Higgins in fourth place. Kai Hunter, the pole sitter, coming home in P6 to start inside second row of the grid for the final. Kata McQueen, good drive from the Brit for KR Sports, Seidler Schlegel, and a former European junior champion, Ethan Jeff Hall for Sam Pollitt Racing in P10. So the pre-finals are now done as the sun comes out to shine the 14th day of April here at Genk in Belgium. The home of champions. Round one of the Rotax Euro Trophy presented for the first time by WSK Promotion. Nine pre-finals raced here this morning and the five finals getting underway at two o'clock local time, which is in about 50 minutes from now. Don't go too far away. It is great to have your company wherever you're watching us around the world whether it's late, a, a late in the evening over in the Far East or in the Oceania region, or if it's at midday here in Europe, or if it's early morning on the other side of the Atlantic. Don't go too far away. We will race the first of our finals, starting with DD2 Masters at 2 o'clock local time. We'll take a short break. We'll see you back here at Genk in Belgium as we race round one of the Rotax Euro Trophy live from Genk in Belgium. We'll see you at 2 local time.
very good afternoon as we welcome you to the famous, the historic circuit of Genk in Belgium, the home of champions for round one of the 2024 Rotax Max Challenge Rotax race of the series of the new year, I should say. It was torrential the rain down in Cambios for the Winter Cup. Ironically, here in beautiful Belgium, there's nothing but beautiful sunshine in a nation which is known famously for its weather changes. 239 drivers from around the world from 40 different nations uh, racing here in the first of four rounds for 2024. The Rotax Euro Trophy, and in just a few moments, we'll race for the first time the DD2 Masters Final. The carts are on the circuit before they do get underway. With their 15 lap final, let's check out some of the highlights from this week at Genk in Belgium. Our closing image there, the 5-1-7 Tony Card of Nicolas Picot just crossing the line. He has fairly dominated so far this weekend. Nicolas Picot is the reigning champion in DD2 Masters. And in just a moment, he'll start from pole position for the DD2 Masters final. Great to have your company. This is the first event of the Euro Trophy, the new collaboration, the new cooperation between the legendary, the world-famous Rotax engine company, the world-famous world Rotax Racing Company of Austria and WSK Promotion celebrating their 19th year of World Motorsport competition. The DD2 Masters drivers, 12 of them for the first round of the series. We are expecting that number to grow when we go to Wackersdorf Pro Cup Raceland in the south of Germany in beautiful Bavaria, where we're hoping we are praying for similar weather than we've got here this weekend in the Limburg region, not too far from the Dutch border. Carts on the circuit to the left of your screen is the reigning champion, the pole setter, Nicolas Picol. Harold's Gakakles back with us after a layoff of the best part of the half decade. The Latvian, you would say, most likely to take the fight up to Nicolas Picol, but Igor Mulken starts on the inside second row of the grid. We'll take a look at, at the grid in its entirety in just a moment. As the one minute board goes up. Genk in Belgium, the famous circuit built back in 1983 by the Lemons family, has hosted absolutely everything. Every driver has raced here. This is why it's called the home of champions. The current configuration, 1,360 metres, redeveloped about two decades ago, hosting everything, the BNL series, the Belgian championships, the Dutch championships, the European championships, the world championships in 2018 as well when Patrick Hayek took victory for Cosmic in KZ1 and the host venue for round one of the 2024 Rotax Max Challenge, the Euro Trophy. We'll take a look at the grid. Nicholas Pickle starts on pole position, the reigning champion. Garkaklis, out of grid two, the Latvian. Igor Mulken from the Mediterranean island of Cyprus, out of three. Adams, the now Dutchman, the Belgian Dutchman, out of grid four. Martinez Tankovic is also from Lithuania. Kapitana Konopka from Slovakia. And Sebastian Krapov in the Mac 1 cart. Karl Klubo, the Belgian, home track advantage for Bouvan Power 5-4-0. Andreas Brankus in the final row of the grid. Kamil Kubera in the Sodi cart. And Ricard Kalm Sims starting out of grid 12. Ricard and Andreas Brankus coming together in the pre-final. 
Yeah, it's sort of steering straight. You saw Harold's gutter carcless, both hands off the wheel, testing the wheel alignment. It's sort of deep here to the right a little bit. The Viral Art of 508, the Latvian. 5.7. There is Nicholas Pickle, and that's Igor Mulkin. Former race winner in the Euro Trophy is Igor, Igor Mulkin, but we have to go back to 2015 at Parkersdorf. The rental circuit, the bottom right, not only that is part of the original gang circuit, the legendary circuit went back in the glory days when we had open tyre selection. They had to literally burn the asphalt, sorry, the rubber off the asphalt. We couldn't see the bitumen because the rubber was an inch deep. That's part of the original circuit. This is the new circuit developed two decades ago. Nicholas Pickle on pole position down in front of the grandstand. What a glorious day. Springtime, the 14th day of April 2024. Round one on the Rotax Euro Trophy. This is DD2 Masters, the final. The direct drive to speed cart developed by Rotax at this very circuit. It was launched. We'll speak about that during the broadcast if we get a chance. Running rich is Nicholas Pigol. Puts it in neutral and just puts the right foot flat to try and clear it. He starts on pole position. The reigning champion, Nicholas Pigol, DD2 Masters, round one, the 2024 Rotax Euro Trophy here at Genk in Belgium, the home of champions. Harold's to the right of your screen. The Latvian up to the line. We race for the first time in the 2024 Rotax Euro Trophy. Pico is gone. A perfect start from the Frenchman as Igor Mulkin goes up into second place. The Cypriot leads the Latvian as they go up into turn six for the first time. Super start from the reigning champion. Garcales back into second place, but runs wide. Igor gets him back. Oh, no, he doesn't. Harold's holds him off for the moment as they go down through the chicane. For the first time, already an enormous lead in DD2 terms. Halfway through the opening of 15 laps, the DD2 Masters final. Here again, Kim Belgium. Gutkakel is back into second place. Then Mulkerna. We see Martinius Tankovicius trying to make his way up through the field. Tankovicius, of course, who won the season opening Winter Cup at Campios in atrocious conditions down in the south of Spain. Tankovicius up in a P5 behind Christoph Adams, the sometime Belgian, the sometime Dutch driver, who's been racing Rotax ever since the series, the category's inception some two decades ago. A story career for Christoph Adams. At the moment, he's a step off the podium. So Picol with a lap, uh, a one second lead after the end of the first lap. It's Garkakles in second place. Christoph Adams on the podium in 2022 in the corresponding round of his championship. Christoph Adams, triple five, the Belgian now racing with a Dutch license but for the most part of his career has raced in the French Championship. He comes across the line, Kristoff in that triple five in fourth place. Behind the Cypriot, Igor Mulkin. There is nine tenths of a second between Nico Pico and Harold Skarkakles. That's Kristoff Capitan going on through. Has been on the podium, well in the top five more precisely, in the past three years in the Rotax Euro Trophy. Fourth in the past two years. We go back to 2021 when he finished fifth in the series, Kristoff Capitan in 599 in P6 as Nicholas Pico just rides over the ripple strip. The Tony Kart from the Birol Art and the Cypriot of Igor Mukian in third place. Clean start for the DD2 Masters final as they go down into the pit sweeper to start lap four. Looking for Martinius Tankovicius to come on strong but he's been hassled by the French driver, Christophe Capitan, the second French driver. Of course, Nicholas in first place. There's Carl Clevol coming across the line. Kubera and Cal Sims, they had an incident just a lap ago. They have come together, but they're halfway behind, or half a lap behind the leaders as Nicholas Picot looks over his left shoulder. Kubera just crosses the line now. 
some 17 seconds off the race leader, Lee Kubera in the Sodi car, the Czech driver. And Cal seems that's his second incident in the opening stages today in the pre-final. Came together with Andreas Brankusch and now with Ricards at Cal seems They still keep going as we look at this battle for six. Or this battle of six. Adams then back to Martinez Tankovicius. Heading Christoph Capitan. There's Krapov in the Mac at one cart. The German from Martin Konopka. Good performance from Martin. Konopka, then Brenkusch and Karl Clairbol in P10. Stays nine tenths of a second between Nicholas Pickle and Harold Skarkarkles. That's Igor Mulkin. P3 at the moment. Adams going on through in P4. Great performance from Igor Mulkin. We go back to 2015 when the Cypriot won in the Rotax Max Euro Trophy. That was a Fuckersdorf. Almost one decade ago, the very German circuit where we race the next round of the championship. The last Euro race win for Igor Mukin. Farkersdorf, 2015. Of course, we race there the second round of the championship on the 9th of June. We go before going to Franciacorta for the very first time on July 7. And the series final, the last day of August, right in the middle of the Italian summer under lights at the centre of the karting universe, August the 31st at Southgarda Karting Lonato. It's a circuit that Nicolas Picol right, knows well because he's raced there in the past, most notably in KZ2, looks over his left shoulder. The reigning champion, also French champion. Harold Skarkarkles in the barrel in second. The barrel art, I should say, in second. Igor Mulkin from Cyprus. The sun coming out to shine once again, one third race distance. There are quite a few circuits down on the Mediterranean island of Cyprus, most notably the Daytona Raceway. A strong, a growing karting scene. Well, the Formula One World Championship calendar for 2025 was announced in the past few days. We have not yet announced the calendar for 2025, the Euro Trophy. Hey, how about a race down in Cyprus? Daytona Raceway? Sounds good, doesn't it? Does it, does it not? I'm sure Igor Mulkin likes the idea of that. He's in third. He's been caught by Adams. Tankovic is in P5. Puts in a purple sector now. Three seconds off the race lead. The Winter Cup race winner. He took the first European Rotax race of 2024 from Nico Picol. Here's Garkaklis. Christoph Adams in fourth place. An incident further back involving one of the Saudi cards. It was Kubera, who's come together with Kalt Simes. We just got a glimpse of those two in the background there. They are at risk of being lapped. They've rejoined, but Pico comes across the line. As you look at Igor Mukina, work the steering wheel on the 538 Tony card. They've lost a lot of time. Carl Clairbo has retired. The Belgium here in Belgium is out. Kick all back to Gakakles. There's Mulkin. Christoph Adams in P4 for the Shepherds Racing Team. That's Mulkin going through. Christoph Adams. We go back to 2008. He was on the podium. In Rotax. Here in Genk. In fact, it was 2007. That's how long Christoph Adams has been racing in Rotax. Last victory in the French Championship was the French Cup at Laval in 2018. At the moment, he's in P4 being caught by Martinius Tankovicius. Krapov, Capitan. Konopka. Here's Brankusch going through. Andreas Brankusch for the KSB racing team of Austria. Racing in the Euro Trophy along with the Central European Championship and also in the Rotax Max Italia Challenge as well. Crap off in P6 in the Mac 1 cart. Bastian, the German driver, 510, he's in P6. The German driver in the German cart, the Mac 1 chassis, which won the Formula 8 Championship with David Henkemeyer back in 2002. Bastian Krapoff in P6, Tankovic is ahead of him. 
And he's got Christoph Capitan behind, Martin Konopka. As Nicholas comes across the line, we'll check the gap. It's 1.9, we'll call it two seconds. Nicholas Pigol is pulling away. He's got a 54-540 as the fastest lap of the race as well. Perfect drive from the Frenchman. DD2 Masters, round one of 2024. The Rotax Euro Trophy here at Genk in Belgium, the home of champions. Unfortunately, Camila Cubera has retired, as has Ricard Calcimes. Cal Clebeau, the Belgian, as well, the three retirements. Pico comes across the line. We'll see if the gap is getting larger. It is 2.1 seconds. Harold Skarkarkla is P2, but has not got an answer for the Frenchman. The reigning European champion, French champion, French Cup champion, has also raced in the French Long Circuit Championship as well including at the ferociously fast Carole circuit on the outskirts of Paris, bordering the Charles de Gaulle airport, where Rotax Max has raced in long circuit form on the 2055 meter circuit. Nicholas has raced there both in Rotax and in KZ2, where speeds do genuinely pass, I'm not exaggerating, more than 115 miles an hour. Four laps now remaining. Pickle puts in a purple sector. He's pulling away. The reigning champion who finished P2 at Campios in the season opening. Winter Cup. Behind Martinez Tankovicius. He's in P5. That's Igor Mulkin. The Cypria behind the Latvian. The Frenchman. Three and a half laps from victory in the opening race. The opening round. And he puts in a 54-455. The Tony Carts in third place. Igor Mulkin back on the podium. Finished third, did the Cypriot last year in the Rotax Grand Finals in Bahrain. That was in the all new electric, the E20 Masters class. Igor Mulkin looking at another podium. His last was in Bahrain in the Middle East at the Bahrain International Circuit, the incredible Bahrain International Circuit which has twice hosted the Grand Finals. Here is Mulkin, he was P3 in the E20 electric class. In 23, 2021, of course. Bahrain hosting the Rotax Grand Finals for the first time. This year we go to Sano, Circuito Internazionale Napoli in the south of Italy for the biggest kart racing event in the world. The Rotax Max Grand Finals celebrating one quarter of a century of world competition. There's Christoph Adams, still off the podium. Looks behind, Tankovicius, now up into P4. Adams falls back to five. We go back to 2007, the Rotax Euro Series. In senior Max and Christoph Adams was on the podium. That was almost two decades ago at this circuit. I'm trying to stretch my memory. I'm going to say it was on the new configuration, which we've got here this afternoon. The circuit was upgraded to this 1,360 metre length. Just a year or two prior off memory of steam corrected on that. Regardless, Christoph Adams on the podium back in 2007. But at the, at the moment, this afternoon, it looks as though he's going to miss out. The Frenchman, certainly not, though. Nicolas Picot on his penultimate lap of the race. A perfect drive. He took pole position earlier in the weekend, 48 hours ago, with a 54.059. Fastest lap of the race, a 54.455 this time. He's controlling the pace, 2.7 seconds clear. Clips the ripple strip. Comes across the line to start. Son Dunyadua. Gakakles in second, caught by Igor Mook in the fight for P2. There's just a couple of tents between the Latvian and the Cyprian. Nicolas Pico on his way to victory, the 2023 Rotax Max Euro Trophy TV2 Masters Champion. Goes down the back straight for the final time. 
staring at the temperature gauge, obviously, because he puts the blind back down on the radiator. As we see Capitan fighting with Christoph Adams down through the final corners for the final time. A superb performance all weekend from Nicholas Pico. He's enjoying himself out there, throws it down through the right-hander. And maintenant, le dernier virage pour le pilote français. The final corner for the French driver. The checkered flag is about to wave. Nicolas Picot, the reigning champion, a perfect weekend here at Genk in Belgium. He wins round one, TD2 Masters for 2024. Rotax Max Challenge Euro Trophy. Harold Skarkakl is back. Is the Latvian on the podium in second place? Igor Mulkian back on the podium also for the Cypriot in P3. Andreas Brankusz crosses the line in position nine as the final finisher. A perfect weekend. Viva la France! Nicolas Pickle, pole position, dominates the weekend and wins round one here at Genk in Belgium, the home of champions. Pickle is perfect. Gar Carles, second is Harold. Igor Muk and the Cypriot P3. Martini Stankovic's who won the Winter Cup in Campios. Misses the podium but fights back for P4. Adams 5, Christoph Capitan, the second Frenchman P6. Krapov, Martin Konopka from Slovakia. And Andreas Brankuš, the KSB Racing Team driver from Austria. For the Austrian team, here's the final finisher. A perfect start to the afternoon. DD2 Masters and the reigning champion has taken victory. Stay with us on Motorsport TV, the first of our five podiums live from Genk in Belgium in just a moment.
The driver's making their way down to the podium. Here comes Harrells. Welcome back to the Latvian who stands on the podium. Will in just a moment with Igor Hagerald and the reigning champion, Nicholas. DD2 Masters, round one, the 2024 Rotas Max Euro Challenge. In third place from Cyprus, Igor Mugin. Second place, the Latvian, Harold Skarkaklis. P2 of the season opening Winter Cup in Campios, but the reigning champion starts the 2024 series in position one. The winner of Genk here in Belgium from La France, Nicolas Picot. To present the third place trophy, Mr. Oronzo Dibari representing WSK promotion to the third place, Igor Mukin. <laughs> Calling forward, Mr. Kuhn Lemons from Karting Genk, the home of champions, to represent, to present the second place trophy to Harold Skarkaklis of Latvia. And Mrs. Sarah Daru to present the winning trophy to the race winner, Nicholas Pickle, representing Rotax Racing. The winner is Nicholas. And also the winning team, the self enter driver for Tony Cart, Nicholas Pickle, presented with the trophy again by Kuhn Lemons, representing Karting Gang for Home of Champions. the national anthem of La France. The podium for DD2 Masters, round one of the Rotax Max Challenge Euro Trophy. In third place, Igor Mulkin, second, Harold Skarkaklis, and the winner here at Gang from France, Nicolas Picot. Stay with us on Motorsport TV, the DD2 final live from Genk in just a moment. Back here at Genki in Belgium for the second of our finals here this afternoon, DD2. The original direct drive two-speed category, 39 drivers from around the world for round one of the Rotax Max Euro Trophy. Enzo Boll, a last-minute entry for SP Motorsport, driving for Stampex. 
We'll start from pole position before we do race. Let's check out some of the highlights from this week in DD2 here at Gank. Enzo Bolt to the left of your screen. He's racing in KZ2. He raced in the WSK Supermaster Series to start 2024. A last minute entry. It is their home circuit. I'm talking about SP, Stampex Motorsport. So he was a last minute entry. And Enzo goes and puts 4-2-1 Cut Republic on pole position. This is the DD2 final racing over 15 laps. 39 drivers for round one of the Rotax Max Euro Trophy. This will be a spectacular race, I promise you. Of course, Martin van Leeuwen, he won the series last year from Enzo Bolt. And David Alletner, who's had a quiet run so far this weekend, 13 last year's series. David, who was on the podium in the season opening Winter Cup, third last year in the Euro Trophy. There is Enzo to the left, now right in the centre of your screen. David Alletner back on the ninth roll of the grid for the Shepherds Racing Team. Enzo Bowl, 4-2-1, racing in KZ2, and this weekend, DD2 for SP Motorsports. Still just a moment or two before the start. Great to have your company watching us live. 239 drivers, increasing numbers for the Euro Trophy here at Genk in Belgium, the home of champions. Thomas Beersteins, what a story this is. The Birol Art 411, the Latvian who started racing in the Saudi World Series rental car competition just a few years ago, now lines up on the inside second row of the grid. Maxim Didix, outside second row for the Belgian, for the Shepherds racing team. 36 carts on the grid. We'll take a look at the grid for you in full in just a moment. Enzo, the Dutchman, to start from the Erste Pusisi. Here is Paul Falkerman, the fastest qualifier, 4 one, three for the Dams Racing Team. The Belgian team from nearby Heel, or Yellow as it roughly translates into English. The team of Jan Dams. The legendary team of Dams Racing from nearby Heel. Former drivers include current IndyCar driver, Rinus van Kamtal, who's, well, in recent years changed his name to Rinus VK. He is a former Dams driver, Paul Falkerman, who took pole position in time qualifying on Friday. Starts on the inside fourth row of the grid. Just a moment or two before the start. Enzo Boll for the Stanpex Motorsport team on pole position. The green flag flies, 36, direct drive, two-speed Rotax carts set off for their formation lap, most likely to be two. We'll take a look at the grid. Enzo starts on crop pole position. Patrick's Lock Mellis, who won the Winter Cup, starts out of grid two. Thomas Beersteins, MRG Racing, alongside Maxim Didex on the second row of the grid. Bender Schabel, superb from the Hungarian this week. Run now, Vera's former World Finals champion, Paul Falkerman for Dams Racing. Fastest qualifier out of seven alongside Antoine Barbaro, who won the pre final this morning. Christians and Nikita Jensen for Door Motorsport. Powered by SP Engines. David Maslakovic alongside Noah Hip. Zenderu, the Belgian, now Slovenian, out of 13. Victor Bay, Axel Saniala, another full world, former World Finals champion. Hannes Marina, Shulko, Al Letner, third in the championship last year. Down in 18th, Bakalini, P5 in the pre final this morning, ahead of Dylan LaHaye. Zelenko, Leon from Croatia, Christiansen, Aaron Krepchik, Rodolkus, Tim Shirt. Ellswood, the sole breed in the final. Nico Guillaume, Fabian Bach, Mats Overhoff, Jules Cousin out of 30. Victor Sendin, 
Dritten Prowls from say that again, Marco Dritten Prez from Austria, the KRT racing team, Chinabok, the Belarusian, Al Jazz, Fitmar, AKK, Brian Anscher, and Louis Koch for Door Motorsport on grid 36. Just going down the back straight for the second time. Enzo Bolt looking for a storming drive from Mats Overhoff for Door Motorsport. Starts out of grid 29. It will be an almighty drive for the German just to make it into the top 10. He did win, though, the Rotax Grand Finals in the electric Rotax, the E20 class in Bahrain some five months ago. The Door Motorsport team driver in the Card Republic 417. Springtime, as you can see by the flowers blooming on the infield. Beautiful weather here in beautiful Belgium. This is Genk, the home of champions. Round one of the 2024 Rotax Max Challenge Euro Trophy. Enzo Paul for SP Motorsport in the Cut Republic. On pole position, Patrick's Lock Mellis. On the outside front row of the grid for MRG Racing. Thirty-six direct drive, two speed carts form up. Enzo Boll in grid one. Welcome to Gang. Welcome to the home of champions. This is the DD2 final. Enzo on pole position. We race. Maxim Didex looks for space as he dives down the inside. Patrick Lockmellis has little choice but to hang around the outside. He's over the ripple strip but holds on to position three. Enzo takes the lead. Nice start from Bowl, last year's vice champion in this, the Rotax Euro Trophy in DD2. We are looking out for David Alvetna, who started way back. Did the pole on the ninth throw of the grid for the Shepherds Racing Team. He was third in the series last year. He was third in the season opening Rotax Winter Cup. Look for a storming start from the pole in the 465 Card Republic. Clean start for the DD2 final. Super launch from Enzo Bowl. Phil come down in front of the grandstand, down into the pit sweeper for the first time. Already a handsome lead from Enzo Boll. He'll come across the line to lead lap one. Head down behind the spirit steering wheel. We'll check the speeds. 117 k's an hour, 119 k's an hour for Paul Falkoman, the fourth fastest qualifier for Dams Racing in P7. Head of Antoine Barbaro, super start from Zenderu. The former Belgian, now Slovenian, on what was his once home circuit, up into P9. As they fight for second, third, and fourth. Maxim Didex, Patrick Lokmelis, and Thomas Beerstens. There's Ben Charbo, the Hungarian, in position five. Just holds the place in the 496 Birol Art. Antoine Barbaro, who had a great run to win the pre-final this morning. There's the Sodic Art. Just going through in the background, Paul Falkomana, 4-1-3. Trying to make a place, he's in seventh place at the moment. He's in sixth place, because he goes down the inside and takes the Hungarian. Ben Charbo, but he gets him back on the exit. Charbo ahead of Falkomana. That's Locked Mellis from Thomas Beersens, Maxim Didex. For the Shepherds Racing Team, also in a card Republic. In P4 from Charbo. Who rides the ripple strip right behind him, the fastest qualifier. Who's moved out the way? Rania Vides. Last year's Rotax Max Green Finals champion just moves him. Wow. Rania Vides makes the place controversially. Just moves him on over. Barbaru goes on through. Maslakovic, Daru back of place. Jabo on the inside. Oh, wow. Jabo. Holds the place in position four. As they come onto the straight wall, he had track position. As we see four command now on the inside of Maxim Didex. The Frenchman on the Belgian. Maxim Didex was on the podium earlier on in the race provisionally, but he's fallen back into fifth place. Fighting with four command at Fures, Babaru, Zenderu, Maslakovic, Noah Hip, Al Litner's up to 12. David Alletner, there's the ball in the background. Coming onto the straight in the 4-6-5. Uh, 
Shepherds Racing Cut Republic. We'll check the times of the pole as well. David Aldegner ahead of Victor Bay Christensen. Hannes Morin. And the only Italian in the final here this afternoon, Leonardo Baccalini, who's ahead of the former world finals champion, Axel Saniala, who won Senior Max in 2019 at Sanu. Zenderu with a purple sector. We start lap five. Look at the lead from Enzo Ball. 1.6 seconds, 1.7. He goes purple. There's Locke Mellis, Thomas Beerstins. Charbo, Paul Forkorman at the moment off the podium. The French driver for the Belgian team from nearby Heel. No surprise, the bottom left of your screen to see Enzo Ball go fastest. Here's Forkorman on the podium. Would you believe we go back to La Conca? Muro Lecce's a world final. He was third in the 2008 Rotax Grand Finals. He also won the French Championship a year prior. Just look at the rear bumper there. 417. For, uh, sorry, Thomas Burstens in 411. There's Charbo going through. Let's hope for the Latvian's place, the second Latvian's place. Sake, I should say, but it is still in place. The Latvians are second and third. So Enzo Ball settles into a rhythm. 1.9 seconds. Clear of the two Latvians. Charbo, the Hungarian, Paul Forkoman, the Frenchman. Yeah, French champion. Back in KF3 as it was back in 2007. Last victory for Paul Falkerman on the international season scene as when he won at Laval in the French Championship. But that was six years ago now in 2018. As we say, a big move down the inside by the Birol of Shirko, who actually takes David Aletna. So David back to 15. He's not going to make a podium today. He's just been passed by Maxim Shirko. Nice pass by the Lithuanian to go by the pole, who was third in last year's series. Enzo across the line at 117 k's an hour. Identical top speed for the two Latvians. Forkoman going through Vera, Zenderu. Did it hit Maslakovic. That was Babaru ahead of Christiansen. And Victor Bay, the two uh, Danes, ahead of Hannes Morin. Axel Saniala back in 19th place. Rotax Grand Finals winner in 2019. A world-class field here at Genk this weekend. He will not make the podium. Zenderu in position seven. The now Slovenian in 4.04. Did not set a time in qualifying. There he is going on through. Had to come from the back of the pack. He's now up into seventh place from grid 13. Trying to chase down the driver in front of him, Rania Vidas, last year's grand finals champion, Enzo Bolt, 2.2 seconds clear. Lockmellis, Beerstins, the two Latvians from Bende Schabor. Great performance from Bende, still looking at his maiden breakthrough. Big international victory, he was 11th in the grand finals. At the moment, he's a step off the podium behind the two Latvians. There's Paul Coman from Vietas to Roux. Maxim Vietas, Noah Hip, Maslakovic, Babaru, Christensen. That was Victor Bay going through ahead of Morin and Shurko. Leon Zelenko making places as he follows through Dylan LaHaye. And this is Dylan's teammate, Enzo Boll, who rides that violent bump on the penultimate corner here at Genk in Belgium. Lock Mellis and Beersteins. The OTK cards have dominated the entry here. Have not done an exact count, but I should do that for you. 239 drivers, approximately two thirds, if not three quarters, are OTK machines. But at the moment, it's Cut Republic leading two Birol Arts. It's a Dutchman from two Latvians. Bende Charbon also in a Birol Arts, so three Birol Arts, in fact. Then back to Paul Falkoman. The Dam's racing team in the 413 Tony Cup. This is just over half race distance. Six laps remaining at the end of this one. Charbo going through. Forkoman fighting from Vera. Senderu. Maxim Gittes. Noah Hip. Maslakovic in P10. Enzo Ball is streeting them here. Looks over his shoulder and says, Come and get me, boys. 
the Dutchman's too quick. SP Motorsport, the Card Republic. Stan Pex, former international champion himself, WSK champion, and the owner of SP Motorsport, tuning the engine superbly across the line last time at 117 k's an hour. Fastest was David Maslakovic, just two clicks quicker at 119, so there's really nothing different performance-wise from the DD2, the direct drive two-speed engines. Car chassis set up and tuning as the sun comes out to shine. Enzo Ball, five laps remaining. There's Ben Chabot. The Viral Arts, two, three, and four. The Latvian, second and third. The Hungarian, Bender, 11th. In the grand finals last year, a step off the podium for Kormana. The fastest qualifier needs a miracle to make the podium here. Viras and Zenderu right behind. Direct Drive 2 Speed at the original RM1 concept car was launched at this very circuit, the original Genk Belgium circuit. It was a prototype developed by Soddy Kart, launched him back in 2000, together with the European Formula A and Super A Championships. Back some 24 years ago, as we see one kart in the background into the grass. It was Axel Saniala. And the Finn has retired from P19. The former Grand Finals champion is out. There's Enzo Ball, four laps remaining, just getting back quickly to the history of this fabulous category. The Axel going through the gearbox, the original version, launched here at Genk. The original Genk as part of the European Championships. Formula A and Super A, where Heike Kovalainen won for board racing. And Lewis took victory for Dino Chiesa MBM 24 years ago. That same weekend, the first ever DD2 prototype, it was an RM1 concept, was launched on the original track here at Genk. Together with the GKS Lemons Car Shop. And it actually, if you do remember, had a reverse gear. That was soon abandoned. But it has brought us this, the DD2 category. 39 drivers from around the world. Enzo Ball, second in last year's series. Vice champion to Martin Van, Martin Van Leven. A last minute entry, and it looks as though we'll see him at Bakersdorf. Pro Kart race lane for round two. Charbo now close to the back to Thomas, who goes wide, misses the apex. Three laps now remaining, the slightest error from Thomas Beerstens. In the background, Viras, Zenderu, and Paul Falkoman. Twips the ripple strip, does bend there. Chabo in the 496 Viral Art on the back of the two Latvians. Patrick Lockmelles. A little bit of breathing space. He's got 2.5 seconds of space as we see Axel Saniala's abandoned cart in the background. He's out. Enzo Ball, two laps remaining. He's dominating the DD2 final. Purple sector in this lap as well. Thomas looking worried is the Latvian. Looking at a breakthrough podium here. To start 2024. Penultimate lap, look at that from Enzo into the 53s. That is superb, Enzo Ball is absolutely dominating. 53, 4, 4, 5. They won't match that. That was the time set by Paul Falkoman in qualifying. The Frenchman still in position 7. Has fallen back behind Rania Vieres and Zenderu now up in a P5. Enzo Ball, a purple sector again on the penultimate lap of the race. SP Motorsport, Stan Pex finishing second as a driver in KZ2, the European Championships. Driving, I want to say it was an intrepid in 2015 as we see Charbo down the inside. On the last lap of the race, the Hungarians up onto the podium. Stan Peck's Motorsport will win with Enzo Ball. Just getting back to finish that point, he was second on the podium to Alexander Schmitz. 2015, maybe it was 16, but this was the fight for the final step of the podium at Shabo Into the final corner, that's where Thomas was struggling. The Hungarian splits the two Latvians. Enzo Ball on his way to victory. The Dutchman. 
the last in Ronde in the Oost de Bussy C. Enzo Ball. A last minute entry for SB Motorsport. Vice champion in 2023. We'll see him at Varkersdorf Pro Kart Raceland for round two. He rounds the final corner. Enzo Ball is about to take that checkered flag. He wins round one of the 2024 Rotax Max Challenge Euro Trophy at Genk in Belgium. Lock Mellis P2, Ben Deschapel on the podium with that penultimate lap pass. He's taken Thomas for third. The Netherlands, Latvia and Hungary. One, two, three at Genk in Belgium, the home of champions. Heartbreak for Thomas Beersens, who misses the podium up by a lap and one corner. Enzo Paul dominates with the fastest lap of the race. Starts from pole position, the Cart Republic wins. From pole position, as we take a look at the highlights of the DD2 final, was pushed up the inside by Thomas Beersens. Lock Mellis around the outside, and then up into second place. He went by Maxim Didix. That was Ben Deschabot. He also took the Belgium and ran him off the line. Says, no, this place is mine. Shugo with a big move down the inside to take David Alletner, who was third in last year's championship. Ultimately, the pole would finish way down in P19. The penultimate corner, the penultimate lap. Bende goes on through, Lock Miller second. But Enzo Ball dominates the DD2 final to win here at Gang. Cart Republic from three viral arts in an entry dominated by OTK Machines. Enzo van der Netherlands takes the win here at Genk. Patrick's Lock Mellows, great ride. With Latvian P2, Ben de Chabot, the Hungarian. Wow, on the podium in third place with that fabulous pass on the last corner of the penultimate lap. David Alletner, you can see down in 19th place, third in last year's championship behind Leon Chalenko, ahead of Aaron Krebschik. But the day belongs to the Dutchman, Enzo Ball, SP Motorsport. He has won round one of the Rotax Max Challenge Euro Trophy, and the Dutchman will stand on the top step of the podium in just a moment.
The drivers make their way down to the podium for the DD2 podium presentation. The Rotax caps go on ahead of Bender, Patrick's and Enzo. What a dominant performance. Enzo, last minute entry for last year's vice champion. The Dutchman wins here just over the Dutch border. Here at Genk, the home of champions, the famous Belgian circuit. The drivers make their way up to the podium. The podium for DD2, round one of the 2024 Rotax Max Euro Trophy. In third place with a super drive and a penultimate lap pass from Hungary, Binder Schapel. Second place, the Latvian Patrick Lock Millis. The winner of the first round of the Rotax Max Challenge, he dominated in DD2 in the Erste Posisi van the Netherlands in Zopol. <laughs> and representing the winning team, SP Motorsport, Stan Pex. With great pleasure, we'd like to ask Mr. Kuhn Lemons to present the third place trophy to Binder Schabo of Hungary. With even greater pleasure, we ask the great man himself, Mr. Paul Lemons, to present the second place trophy to Patrick Lockmillers of Latvia. Mrs. Sarah Daru representing Rotax Racing to present the first place trophy to the winner of round one here at Gag, Enzo Ball of the Netherlands. And Mr. Kuhn Lemons representing Karting Gag, the home of champions, to the winning team, SP Motorsport, represented by Stan Bex. The national anthem of the Netherlands. The podium for round one of the Rotax Max Challenge Euro Trophy in DD2. Third place, Bende Schabo, second, Patrick Slogmelis, and the winner from the Netherlands, Enzo Ball. <laughs> Stay with us on Motorsport TV, the mini final in just a moment. Rotax Max Challenge Grand Finals, the 25th edition, the biggest kart racing event in the world, as you saw. 
to take place at Circuito Internazionale Napoli Sano at the end of October this year. 36 Mini Max carts are on the grid. Beautiful sunshine here in beautiful Belgium. We're about to race the mini final over nine laps. Stanek Babacek will start on pole position alongside Albert Friend, who won the season opening Winter Cup. Before we race, let's check out some of the highlights from this week here at Genk. If history is any guide, stand by because this promises to be the most spectacular race of the afternoon. This is Mini Max. The Mini Drivers arriving here at the Genk Circuit this weekend. 239 drivers. A fabulous entry for round one of the 2024 series, including 54 in Mini Max. Last year's champion, Jacob Ashcroft, he won't defend the title because the Brit, the Englishman from Bristol, is racing in Junior Max in just a moment. We'll have a new champion, most likely, actually, certainly. But some of the returning names from last year are on the grid, including Albert Friend, but you look at AJ. Bull Graf, the fastest qualifier for SP Motorsport. Starts on the second row of the grid. 36 Mini Max cars to race ferociously over nine laps here at Genk in Belgium. Stenek, to the left of your screen. That's the Z in Teps Racing. The younger brother, the youngest sibling, Teps, Teresa, Eliska, Petra, Babichkova, along with their younger brother, Stanek, who starts on pole position in the Czech cart. It's an MS cart. To the right of your screen, Albert Friend, who won the season opening Winter Cup. He was sec uh, sorry, third last year, behind Cole Denham and Jacob Ashcroft in the Euro Trophy. Albert Friend for Strawberry Racing, the legendary British team of Paul Spencer, who have won everything in World Road Tax Racing over the past two decades. They have had some superstar drivers, and they've got another one in the form of young Albert Friend, who leads the charge for the British team, Strawberry Racing. Let's take a look at the grid. Stanek Babacek is on pole position alongside Albert Friend, the fastest qualifier, AJ Borgraff out of three, Zajec. For DHR, Warner also for Dan Holland Racing. Tom Reed, Nikita Lubomov, Harry Taylor, Oliver Spencer, and Vince van der Haaland. Patrick Jochus, Jensen Chalk, former Grand Finals champion in Micro Max. Starting out of grid 11 is the Brit. Mayers Martinez, we have to watch out for Mayers, the Lithuanian, who has been stormingly quick in the heats. Luca Holmes, Balach, Khan, Lawrence, that's Ava, the Australian from the Emirates. Aaron and Ludigan, Riley Murrow with a super drive in the pre-final this morning. Mark Caseda and Bertolacini from Argentina. Minto, Rivas, Schoenega, Peruzzi, Rosa. Then we go to Seidel, Vic van Kampenhout, Goodson, Jan Verbecke and Alfie Ward for Brand Racing, also from the Emirates. Walker, Ari Kallenberg, another Emirati with the British team. Velechko, Kieran Stewart, Mikel Krantins in the Paralympian. Alongside Boris Malikranda from Poland for Dan Holland Racing. Burgraf took pole position in qualifying, late signing for the SP Motorsport team, also took pole position. Last week for the BNL series. Starts on the inside second row, but it's the Czech Stenek 
who will lead the field up. 36, 125cc, Mini Max Karts, round one. The 2024 Rotax Max Challenge Euro Trophy, but this is the Belgian Cup for the Mini Max drivers. The winner of this race to line up on the grid at this year's Rotax Grand Finals at Sano at the end of October. The Belgian Cup for Mini Max. Stenek on pole position. Leads the field around slowly. Beautiful sunshine here in beautiful Gank, not far from the Dutch border. Genk, the home of champions, the famous, the historic circuit built by the Lemons family in its original form back in 1983. The check on pole position. Albert out of grid two. We race. Good start from Albert Friend. He goes around the outside. Martinez is almost pushed into the grass. The Lithuanian, as we see two, three cuts off. Spencer getting airborne. Manages to hold on. In fact, it was Taylor who went straight over the ripple strip. It's Albert Friend in second place. Denny Pavacek has got the race lead. There's Bullgraf in position four. He's just behind Oliver Warner. Good start from the DHR driver. And he defends from Decline to Dutchman in P4. Stenek Pavacek in the Czech MS cart has got the race lead. Tom Reed is out. It was Reed off in the grass. Tom, no second year back in the Rotax Euro Trophy. Tom Reed is out after barely 100 metres. Babacek leads them across the line for the first time. Here comes Stenek. We take a look at what happened off the start. Watch for Tom Reed. AJ Bullgraf got launch Reed into the grass and out as is Oliver Spencer Spencer also out two of the expected front runners have retired good start from Jensen Chalk I speak too soon off into the grass in the background it's Riley Moreau Chalk was just ahead Jensen the former Micro Max Grand Finals champion just got clear of that battle he's now behind Van der Haaland and AJ Bullgraf, Taylor's in five. And Nikita Lupomov now settles into a rhythm. Nikita, the Dutch Minimax champion, the Belgian champion, looking to take out the Euro Series. Is Nikita in one, four, five? Started on the fourth row of the grid for Bulvan Power. We'll see where he comes across the line. There is young Nikita, the Estonian. He's in P5 behind Taylor. It is Danik Babacek. Watch this in the background. Riley Moreau. Oh, wow, that was a big hit. did manage to keep it going. He's down in 27th position as we've got a change for the lead. Albert Friend up the inside. Babacek back into second place. We've got a new race leader, ladies and gentlemen. He's from the Kings, England. Albert Friend for the legendary British team, Strawberry Racing, has got the race lead. Stanek Babacek turned in only to find the 191. Strawberry Racing Tony Car powered by the Cream Engine Rotax in the lead, but now Stanek responds down into the right hander in front of the grandstand. They ride that violent pump. Stanek Babacek being pushed by Reed on the outside goes Warner Taylor and Nikita Lubomov. Now it's kicking off. We start lap four, the Mini Max final round one of the Euro Trophy. Stanek has still got the race lead. Albert Friend, there goes around the outside, Oliver Warner. One, two, threes in P4. We've lost one of the Tony Cards. Spinning at the back of May. Well have been Lubomov who drops down the order. Manages to keep going. It was going. It was Nikita. And now Taylor's out. Wow. Taylor is out. Lubomov is out. Stanley Pavacek manages to hold the lead. Rides up over the back of the one, two, three car does Warner. Well, off Warner, I should say, is Denny Pavacek. Well, he won't make a friend out of Albert, pun intended, as we see one, two, three. Oliver Warner around the outside. Shoot on by, and now he tries to attack Stenek. He's white lining it. And this is not even half race distance. Another crash. Reed is out. This is not the cleanest race in history. There's our assistant race director, Mr. Marco Cardellino, down on the circuit. 
saying let's keep it clean, but it's not happening. Babacek from Warner, Albert Frank, Jensen Chalk come together. Jan Verbecki as well. There is a yellow flag at the final corner. Czernega has retired. Stanek Babacek is defending for his life. The Czech stares behind. Oliver Warner is pushing him for Dan Holland Racing. They go down through the chicane. There is still a yellow flag at the bottom of the circuit where they'll be approaching in around about 15 seconds from now. Stanek Babacek sideways goes Warner. He loses the place. Van der Haaland goes on through. Here comes AJ Bullgraf for SP Motorsports. Remember him? He qualified on pole position 48 hours ago. He's so far avoided the carnage. And at the moment, as we move into the second half of the Mini Max final, he's a step off the podium. Carney's up into P5. In the CS55 car, this is a great drive. From Khan, who's come from grid 15. Hasnain Khan trying to get onto the podium. As Warner and Van der Hullen fight. Here's Adre Bullgraf. Luca Holmes Balach in the background for KR, KR Sports. Down through the chicane. Now Zdenek has got a little bit of breathing space. Van der Hullen behind him. Martinez who did not set a time in qualifying, was 54. 48 hours ago, came storming through to finish in 9th, 8th and 9th respectively from grid 25 in each of his heats. And now the Paralin from Lithuania, the Paralin from grid 15, he's in 7th. There is Martinez across the line. As Van der Hallen defends, AJ down the inside. What a move from the kind of Dutchman. Touches with Warner, but his day's over. Bullgraf is out. AJ Bullgraf. This is turning into a demolition derby, and it's to the benefit of the Lithuanian. Martinez is now in P4, a step off the podium. Luca Holmes Balaj just behind. Bullgraf is out. He's not the only one. We've also lost French, Chalk, Tenega, Rivas, Tom Reed, and Oliver Spencer. Zdenek Babacek now finds some rhythm. He's got two laps to race. He's got half a second clear over Vince van der Haaren. The Boulevard Power entry. There is Martinez. What a comeback. What a try from Mayus from Lithuania in the Paralin. He's now in P4. Shadows Oliver Warner. Here's the Dan Holland Racing entry just ahead of his battle. Luca holmes Ballage for KR Sport. Warner, P3. He won seven days ago right here in the first round of the BNL series. He's on the back. I'm oh, sorry, Luca holmes Ballage. He's on the back of Martinez. And then Warner, who looks behind him, looking at another podium. But at the moment, it's not the top step. Penultimate lap of the race as they go down through the chicane. Vince van Kampen out. He's the fastest on circuit. Vic has come from grid 27. He's up into seventh place. He's storming through the field. Van Karpenhout, what a drive. He's got a lap to make up four positions. It's not likely, but it's not impossible either. This is the last lap. Stenek Babacek crosses the line. The gap five tenths of a second. Vince van der Haaren. Warner and then Martinez. Oliver Warner, P3 at the moment for Dan Holland Racing. Luca holmes Balac. As we see Vic van Kampenhaus up the inside. He's come from grid 27. What a drive. He's in B6. Unbelievable from Vic in the bottle. Green, 1-1-2. Tony Kart. Martinez defends from Luca. Down through the chicane. Zdenek Babacek surely has got enough distance. The Czech driver, the Czech cart in the MS carts for the Teps Racing Team. Van der Haaren in second place. Martinez fighting with Luca Vick around the outside into the final corner. Zdenek Babacek will win the Belgian Cup. 
Round one of the Rotax Max Challenge for Mini Max. He comes across the line. He takes the checkered flag. A wild Mini Max final, but the Czech wins it from pole position. Vince van der Haaland P2 and Oliver Warner, the first Brit on the podium in third place. Baba Czech wins in the MS cart. The Czech driver from the Czech Republic in the Czech cart. In a Minimax final, the Belgian Cup, which resembled a demolition derby at the end. Take a look at the highlights of a wild final. He asked Enik Babacek from pole position, pushed by AJ as friend went around the outside. We lost Reed and Spencer on the first lap of the race. Riley Moreau went rally cross at the top of the circuit halfway through as Albert Friend briefly did take the lead, did the Rotax Winter Cup champion from Campios. Stenek back in place. He says, no, nope, this race is mine. As the field behind eliminated each other, including that incident right there. Chalk would retire. He wasn't the only one. Albert Friend going out as well. Standing Babacek back in P1. That was the end of Albert's race. Coming together with Jensen Chalk, the two British drivers. Vince van der Haaland for Bull van Power up into second where he would ultimately finish defending for his life from Oliver Warner. Bull Graf, the fastest qualifier, looked as though he'd get up onto the podium. And Vince fought with Oliver. That was a sensational move from Jan Bulgraf made the slightest contact with Oliver Warner, who was able to get clear just. Vic van Kampenhout, what a drive from Group 27 to come home in seventh place. Martinez misses the podium by a single position. Warner third, Vince van der Haaland second, Stenek the Czech, Babacek wins the Belgian Cup for Mini Max here at Genk in Belgium. The Teps Racing Team the national anthem of the Czech Republic will hear ring out here in the Limburg countryside imminently. Vince van der Haaland from here in Belgium second. Oliver Warner does survive. And the Dan Holland racing driver on the podium in third. Martinez, what a comeback from the back of the grid in qualifying. Luca Holmes Balac. And it was Khan van Kampenhout from grid 27 ahead of Nikita Lubomov, Zajac, Aaron Lu and Ludigan from Turkey in P10. Stay with us on Motorsport TV, the mini podium, live from Genk in Belgium in just a moment.
The driver's making their way up to the podium. The Belgian Cup for Mini Max, what a wild race. As Danik Babacek wins entry to the Rotax Max Grand Finals to be held at Sano Circuito Internazionale in Napoli at the end of October. The drivers make their way down here. The Belgian Cup for Mini Max here at round one of the 2024 Rotax Max Challenge here at Gang in third place from the UK. It's Oliver Warner. Second place for the Belgian driver here in Belgium, Vince van der Haven. He withstood almighty pressure. He started from pole position. The Czech driver driving the Czech cart for the Teps Racing Team. The winner of the Belgian Cup, Zdenek Babicek. And representing the winning team, Teps Racing, Jakub Novotny. Representing Great Britain in third place and Dan Holland Racing, Oliver Warner. The trophy to be presented by Mr. Aronto Tabari, representing WSK Promotion. From Belgium in second place, Vince van der Hallen. The trophy to be presented by Mr. Kuhn Lemmers, representing Karting Gang. We'd like to call on Mrs. Sarah Duru, representing Rotax Racing, to present the winning trophy to the Czech driver, Stenik Babacek. And Mr. Kuhn Lemons again representing Karting Gang to present the winning team's trophy to Jakob Novotny of Teps Racing. This is the Belgian Cup for Mini Max, and with victory here today, Zdenek Babacek has won entry into the 2024 Rotax Max Grand Finals at Sano. Zdenek, if you'd like to write your name on the winning ticket, you'll be racing at Sano. Just write your name, Zdenek, that's fine. Zdenek Babacek wins the Belgian Cup, and with that, we'll see you at the Rotax Max Grand Finals at Sano on October the 26th. Ladies and gentlemen, the podium, third place, Oliver Warner, second, Vince van der Hallen, and the winner from the Czech Republic, Stenik Babacek. The national anthem of the Czech Republic. The podium for the Belgian Cup, third place, Oliver Warner, second, Vince van der Hallen, and the winner here at Keg, Stenik Babacek. Stay with us on Motorsport TV.
We continue racing the Rotax Max Challenge round one from live here at Gank in Belgium. Back here at Genk in Belgium for the junior final. It promises to be a cracking race. We have to ask the rhetorical question. Can anybody stop last year's mini champion, Jacob Ashcroft? The Brit for Den Holland Racing took pole position on Friday. Won two out of three heats. He starts out a pole position before we race the final. Let's check out some of the highlights from this week in Junior Max here at Genk. There is Jacob Ashcroft to the left of your screen. He'll be starting alongside Boaz Maximoff in just a moment. Qualifying on Friday, saw Jacob take pole position by a good margin as well, 55.237. Dragos Avasil Kute, third in the Rotax Max Grand Finals. Last year, he was fastest in his group. But it was Jacob who took pole position. Here is Jacob at last minute instructions from his father Barry. His mother Louise nervously watching on from not quite sure where. But there is Jacob. Pole position. Boaz Maximov still a few moments before the start. Thirty-six carts on the grid, Tom Strell. Starting on the inside second row, almost certainly will push his team, teammate for Dan Holland Racing down into turn one. Maximoff for Bouvan Power, the Dutch champion, the Dutch Mini Max champion, the Belgian champion. It's Dan Holland Racing, the team based at the Wilton Mill circuit in England with the English driver. Yuri Lever, Sandro Lukovic Racing, the Slovenian on the 16th row of the grid alongside Kevin Pollack. Just a few moments before the start, Jacob Ashcroft to start from pole position. The driver to beat last year's mini European champion. This is Genk in Belgium. There is part of the original circuit. There is the Genk model race Genk circuit as the green flag flies. Jacob Ashcroft, the Winter Cup champion. Leads the field around. We'll take a look at the grid, which looks like this. Ashcroft on pole, Maximoff out of two. 
Tom Stadel, also for Dan Holland Racing, alongside his teammate Cameron Nelson for DHR, Tees Van Vyck for Bouvan Power out of five, Noel Janssen for Dual Motorsport with SP Motorsport, T. Stevens, Casper Nissan, Adrian's Tans in the yellow cart, and Dragos, the Austrian, out of grid 10. Connor Clancy, the Irish Emirati, alongside Oscar from France in the RLS cart. Charlie Smith, the United States of America. He represents them, the driver who won in the Pro Kart Series last year at Utah. He's alongside the Northern Irishman, Rory Armstrong, Max Adursky. In the Saudi cart, Jake Fluett, Mate Kobekite, Louis Goff, Bram van der Berke, Jake Woodsy, then it's Charles Kitely and Kai Clark. Cinnabok, Jake Menton, Bukwi, Will Archer, Bastian Ottensama, Ryan Gandor from Canada. Then we go to Ollie Wise, Lucas Schellers, Kevin Polak, Yuri Lever, Martin Lickner, Lorenzo Jacquinto, Leo Gonzalez, and Rasmus Koskinen. Force Racing Finland. The Cosmic 269 out of grid 36. There is Jacob Ashcroft. Take a look at the gloves he's wearing. Yes, they are limited edition. He took them out of the box. They're the original. Offset, limited edition, Ed and Senna gloves. They virtually sold out the speedwear.be shop here at the circuit. Much to his father's disgust or chagrin. He took them out of the box and he wore them. A collector's item. Well, they've brought him a good two tenths of a second because Jacob Ashcroft wearing those Ayrton Senna replica gloves has been the driver to beat. Maybe they'll increase in value if he can win here this afternoon. He can put them back in the box and sign them. He is already the Rotax Mini Champion from 2023. He won here last week in BNL, looking to go two weeks in a row. He's the Winter Cup Champion, winning at Campios, the first race of the European Rotax season on the continent. Jacob Ashcroft will be to the left of your screen on pole position. Welcome to Genk in Belgium, the home of champions, the Junior Max Final. We race. Toms has predicted, pushes his teammate gently down into turn one. Maximoff around the outside, he'll take P2. Nicely done by the Dutchman. He splits the DHR drivers who go one, three and four. Nelson's in fourth place, that's Cameron. Maximoff, big move down the inside from Tees van Fijk for Bouffant Power. As we see Noah Janssen almost into the grass. Dragos, Avasil Kutte and T. Stevens have come together as we see Nelson up the inside, trying to take the place back. Strell in 2-3-8, Ashcroft in 2-1-2, and Cameron Nelson in 2-4-1. They're the DHR representatives in the top six. Boaz Maximoff back in the third place. We come across the line for the first time. Look at the lead from Jacob. It's Dan Holland Racing who go 1-2, who go 1-3 because Boaz up the inside, can't quite do it though. Tom sends it down the inside. There's Tees Van Fike in 2-4-6. Nelson's there, there's Tian's good start from Adrian's. The Gillard card of the Latvian for MRG Racing inside the top six. He might make another position here. Super start from Connor Clancy as well. Down the back straight, Jacob is gone. Ashcroft is disappearing down the road. Van Vyck, Tees in second place. They fight for second. Jacob's already turning into the left-hander, not this, the right-hander. As I speak, he's coming up to the final corner now. About to start lap three with an enormous lead. He goes purple as they fight for second place. Ashcroft is gone. He comes across the line to start lap three. At 107 k's an hour, he's got 1.8 seconds clear. Not of his teammate, Tom Strell. But of Tees van Vijk for Bouvant Power. There's Tians and the Gillard TG17 chassis. Clancy is just behind. Look at this move just a moment ago. Down into turn one. Tees van Vijk. In fact, Maximoff, I should say, in 2-3-0. Tees in the other Tony card, 2-4-6. As we see Nissan from Max Sadurski. Clark. Borgui. Martin Lickner. What a start! up into 13th place from grid 33. Martin Lickner has passed 20 carts in two laps, I kid you not. 
Dragos, unfortunately, is out. Dragos, a Vasil Kute, the Austrian, who was third in the grand finals in 2021. He finished fourth in this race, corresponding in 2022, but this afternoon, his day is over. Dragos is out. Rory Armstrong, the Northern Irishman, after making that great start, he's fallen down to 23rd place behind Charlie Smith. The United States Pro Kart Series race winner from 2023. Trying to chase down Oscar Goodshell, Charles Kiley, Leo Gonzalez, Jake Woodsy, Jake Lewitt, and Lewis Goff. Lewis, who was on the podium. Third place in the season opening, Winter Cup at Campios in the south of Spain. As you look at Tiance on the back of Boas Maximoff. This is the fight for second. Jacob is gone. And he goes purple again. Ashcroft is dominating. He is putting half a second on a half a second on average over the force foot over the first four laps over the rest of the field. The gap now 2.2 seconds. Tom Strell, the Latvian champion, who finished P2. He led most of the final in the Winter Cup. Regardless, a great performance from Toms, even if he can't catch his teammate. There's Cameron Nelson going through. Boas Maximov, Tions, Clancy in seven. Nissan, Sadurski, and Noah Janssen in P10. Clark up to 11. Kai goes by in 11th place from grid 21. As we complete lap five, purple sector after purple sector. Jacob is disappearing. There's his teammate. They're both running the Lando Norris car, the LN car for Dan Holland Racing. Come across the line. I'll tell you something about the car set up in just a moment. Not too much, Dan. I'll give too much away. Tom's just sits there. There's his teammate, Cameron Nelson. There is a slightly different setup. That's all I'll say. Between Tom's car and Jacob. Not for better or worse as we see Tom's down the inside. It is just different. Jacob has got it hooked up. Slightly different setup on the Lando Norris cars. Of course, all driving the identical Rotax Max engine. But it's working for Jacob superbly up front. His teammate from Latvia, Toms, goes through into second place. One, two for the team from Wilton Mill. Home circuit hosting the British O plate two weeks ago. To start from pole position, Jacob Ashcroft, of course, spinning on the roll up laps, had to start from the back of the pack. What a drive to come through. He missed the podium. They came home P4. He won right here seven days ago in the BNL. He leads his teammate. Now he leads Tom's Tees Van Vyk. And Nelson goes on through as well. So Tom's now falls back to P4. Head of Boas Maximoff. That's Tions. Clancy Nissan. Janssen Sadurski with the fastest lap of the race. Max in the Soddy Kart Sigma with a 55 713. Nicely done by Tees Van Vyk. Down into turn one. And the Dutchman takes the Latvia. Jacob Ashcroft from Bristol. Yes, it's Lando's hometown as well. We've got another British kart racing star. Jacob Ashcroft from the Kings England. He's gone. This is half race distance. It's 2.6 seconds between Ashcroft and now Tix van Pike. Three seconds. As they fight the attack from Dan Holland Racing. Who run one at three and four. Dan himself, along with his brother Tom, both British champions in the senior 177 class. As we say, based at the Wilton Mill circuit using the time engines. Oh, into the back goes Nelson of his teammates. Around the outside down through the chicane. Now it's on between the two teammates. Toms goes on through. That's Adrian's in the background in the Gillard car. Tians from Latvia, the second Latvia, who's just been watching this battle. He's not far off the podium. Ashcroft is starting lap nine now. He goes down into turn one, the gap three seconds exactly. Tings van Vyk, it stays the same. Moves down the inside, Maximoff on the inside of Toms. 
The Gillard around the outside, nicely done by their second Latvian. The first of which is immediately in front of his Gillard cart. It's Strell, who was in position two. He's now back to five. Maximoff on the back of Cameron Nelson. It's Sadulski in the background fighting with Kasper Nisman, who goes by. Noah Jansen now up in a P8 for the dual motorsport team. Watch this between the two teammates. First of all, down into turn one. Boaz Maximoff, a Dutch Minimax champion for Bull Farm Power. Tion's around the outside. And the Latvians in five and six. Clancy. Connor from Ireland. I can't say that with an Irish accent. The Irishman. Sorry, not even close. The Emirati-based Irishman, regardless for Strawberry Racing. He's not out of this either. He's in position six. And so we see Maximoff on the outside of Nelson. They're fighting for the podium. There is Connor Clancy, Dubai O-Plate o -plate champion, uh, racing in the United Arab Emirates. Rotax Max Challenge, as we see Maximoff had to defend from Tom Stadel. Tions falls up, falls back, just a few laps behind. Ashcroft is dominating. It's a Sunday drive for the Englishman. This Sadulski going through ahead of Schellers, Kai Clark, Schinnerbach, Jake Woodsy and Lewis Goff. Tottenham's back down the inside. Here comes Casper Nisson. Fighting with Connor Clancy, who's in position eight. That's Connor on the outside. Fighting, and he's got a soddy cut right in the middle as well. In the form of Max Sadulski. Ashcroft, 3.2 seconds clear, is dominating. Dan Holland racing this world-class racing team. At the moment, first, third and fourth, Boaz Maximoff. There's Tions. The second Latvian, MRG Racing in the Gillard TG17 chassis. The manufacturer which won the 2005 World Championship at Braga in Portugal with Oli Oates, now high-tech team owner. The Gillard Cup, now owned by the OTK Group. It looks good as well in the hand of Adrians. In the hands of Adrians, I should say. 271 ahead of Janssen, Clancy, Nissen and Sadulski. Three laps remaining. The gap is 3.4 seconds. Unstoppable is Ashcroft. Fastest lap of the race actually belongs to Noah Jansen. As we see Sadowski in the background with Nissen, Schellers and Clark and Schinnerbach, the Belarusian, ahead of Jake Woodsy and Lewis Goff. So fastest on the track is Noah Jansen for Dual Motorsport. Ashcroft is controlling the pace. Controlling the pace, he is dominating. He's got two laps to go across the line. Good drive from Tix van Vijk. The gap stays at three and a half seconds, though. The fight is for the bottom step of the podium. Cameron Nelson, Tom Stavell, Maximoff, Tions in the Gillard. Jansen with the fastest lap of the race. Clancy, Schellis, Kasper Nissen, and Max Sadursky van der Netherlands in the Saudi Kart Sigma. This is Jacob. He just got a glimpse of the limited edition Anton Senna offset gloves. Yes, he took them out of the box as we see Noah down the inside. The door motorsport driver. Crash between the two teammates. Nelson and Strell are out. No! Cameron Nelson and Tom Strell. They take each other out. The two Dan Holland racing teammates. Their teammate is about to get the last lap board. He will win. But Toms and Cameron are out. Maximoff goes through into P3. Nelson, Strill are out. This is now the fight for the final step of the podium. Ashcroft on his way to victory. Tix van Vijk in second place. Maximoff and then Jensen. Remember, he is the fastest on track. Look at this, the two teammates. Down through the chicane, they went side by side. Nelson up the inside. Parked on the top of Strell. 
They go spinning off into the grass in spectacular fashion. Whose fault was it? It is irrelevant. They're out. Their teammate Jacob will win. He is dominating. He's only got a few corners remaining. Jacob Ashcroft is about to come across the line. The checkered flag is about to wave. Jacob dominates. The driver from Bristol in the Kings England has won. He has dominated round one of the Rotax Max Challenge. Dies van Vijk second, Maximoff. The Dutch mini champion on the podium in third. Janssen, Tions, Clancy six. But the story of the race, Dan Holland racing it will be a subdued celebration on one side of the tent this evening. Strella and Nelson both go out on the penultimate lap of the race from third and fourth positions. But take nothing away from Jacob. Ashcroft wins. He wrote Kank in Belgium. From pole position, Boaz makes him off around the outside. Held on to second place as we take a look at the highlights of the Junior Max final. Good start from Adrian Tiens, who was going on through. This was Tom's on the inside of Boaz. Tiers van Pike got clear of this battle as Tiens just watched on. Strell down the inside to take flat back second place briefly from Tees van Pike. But then Tees said that's enough of that and he disappeared down into second place. And down the road into second. To come home in P2 behind Jacob Ashcroft, the two teammates, Cameron Nelson. Actually running into the back of his Latvian teammate. Strell going on through, Boaz Maximov. So in effect, that was the move that put the Dutch Mini Max champion up onto the podium. We're still behind the two DHR drivers, but it would matter little as they were both take themselves out. Connor Clancy, super driver. Lucas Schellis from the back of the grid would come home in seventh from grid 30. How about some credit? But this was the moment of the race for Strell and Nelson. Their teammate Jacob Ashcroft won it from Tees van Pike. Boas Maximov third. Jansen, Tions, Clancy in P6. Lucas Schellis, what a drive for the French driver in the Soddy Kart. Position seven. Listen to this from grid 30. Nissan, Clark and Max Zabilski in P10. Jacob Ashcroft. Wins round one of the Rotax Max Euro Trophy. He won the season opening, Winter Cup. He won last year's mini trophy as well. And he kicks off the 2024 Rotax Max Euro Trophy with victory here at Gank. Stay with us on Motorsport TV, the podium presentation for the junior final from the home of champions in just a moment.
The drivers make their way up to the podium after a pulsating Junior Max race. An absolutely brilliant Junior Final. Boaz tees Van der Netherlands. And Jacob Ashcroft dominates here at Genk in Belgium. Dan Holland Racing, maybe a slightly subdued celebration after Tom's and camera taking each other out. I'll be watching the replay of that endlessly. No doubt about the race winner, Jacob Ashcroft. He dominates the final here. Boas Maximoff, Tees van Vijk, both for Bulvan Power. Wes in Klaar for the podium. We are ready for the Junior Max podium. Two Dutchmen and an Englishman. Junior Max round one of the 2024 Rotax Max Challenge. The Euro Trophy in third place for the Netherlands, Boaz Maximov. Second place also for the Netherlands, Ties van Vijk. An absolutely dominant performance. He took pole position, he dominated the heats, and he dominated the final here this afternoon from Bristol in the King's England for Dan Holland Racing, the winner of the first round of the Rotax Max Challenge Euro Trophy, Jacob Ashcroft. And representing the winning team, Dan Holland Racing, Lee Melotti. <laughs> Mr. Oronzo Di Bari representing WSK Promotion to present the third place trophy to Boaz Maximov. Mr. Kuhn Lemons representing Karting Gang, the home of champions, the second place trophy to Tees van Vijk. Mrs. Sarah Taru representing Rotax Racing to present the winning trophy to England's Jacob Ashcroft. And again, Mr. Kuhn Lemons to present the winning team trophy, Lee Malotti, Malotti representing Dan Holland Racing. The national anthem of Great Britain. The podium for Junior Max, third place, Boris Maximov, second, Ties van Vijk, and the winner from England for Den Holland Racing, Jacob Ashcroft. Stay with us on Motorsport TV, the Senior Max Final, in just a moment.
Back here at Genki in Belgium, this is round one of the 2024 Rotax Max Challenge Euro Trophy. And of course, at the end of the year, Sano in the 2024 Grand Finals. 90 drivers in Senior Max here this weekend, and we're down to the final 36. Mac B, Macaulay Bishop will start from pole position in just a moment before we race. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from this week here at Gang. Two hundred thirty-nine drivers from forty nations around the world here at this famous, this historic circuit of Genk in Belgium. Ninety drivers alone in the Senior Max class. We are down to the final thirty-six. Macaulay Bishop for Dan Holland Racing will start on the front row of the grid. It's an all DHR front row of the grid. Jaden Tien, the Winter Cup champion, Van der Netherlands out of grid two. Kai Hunter is debuting the new Carlos Sainz, the CS55 cart. The Hunter Motorsport team that he runs with his brother Reese. Inside second row for the two-time British champion, the BNL champion. The Canadian champion, he actually won the Canadian championship in 2018, did Kai Hunter. On the podium in the Road Tax Grand Finals has won everything, his world-class team, which he runs with his brother. They are debuting this weekend, the CS55, the Carlos Sainz 55 chassis, which Carlos himself took to the track at Cremona just a month ago, before he was, well, temporarily sidelined. The CS55 cart of Kai Hunter on the inside second row of the grid. Just a few moments before the start, we'll take a look at the grid for you in its entirety in just a moment. It is a small racing world. He is debuting the Carlos Sainz 55 chassis. You know that Carlos missed the Saudi Arabian Formula One Grand Prix in his place. Was, of course, our former driver, Oli Behrman. And who should be lining up on the 10th row of the grid? It's Thomas Behrman, Oli's younger brother, whose older brother took the place of Carlos in the Saudi Arabian Formula One Grand Prix. And Kai Hunter on the second row of the grid in Carlos's own CS55 chassis. A joint partnership with the OTK group. Thomas back on the 10th row of the grid after a DNF in the pre-final this morning. He did set the fastest lap in his set final heat yesterday. Took pole position, of course, in Campios, the KR Sport team driver. The team based at Silverstone, the home of the British Grand Prix. Here are the DHR drivers on the front row of the grid. You just see Sean Butcher, two-time British champion. He starts on the inside, third row of the grid. The breeze picking up. It is beautiful weather here in Belgium. The flowers are blooming. Yeah, I'm starting to sound like David Attenborough, but it is great to have nice weather here in Belgium. Ironically, it was the rain in Spain which fell right on Campios for the season opening Winter Cup. There is Macaulay Bishop, starts out of pole position. The driver to beat, the British champion, the Cup Masters champion. Of course, he took victory at Wilton Mill two weeks ago in the British O-plate with that outrageous pass around the outside, which justifiably has gone viral. The move of the season. Well, he won't need to pass anybody if he leads down into turn one, but he will have 35 drivers breathing down his neck. Dan Holland racing 
One, two on the grid. Kai Hunter on the second row of the grid alongside Lewis Gilbert for Kraft Motorsport. They finished one, two and five in the pre-final this morning. The German team, Sean Butcher for KR Sport, the team from Silverstone, alongside Vic Stevens for Guan Power, Mark Kimber, the former Rotax Grand Finals champion of the world. As the cards fire into life, the original 125 Max Rotax engine led away by Macaulay Bishop. The grid looks like this. Mac B on pole, Jaden out of two. Kai out of three, Lewis out of four, Sean out of five, and Vic Stevens for Boulevard Power out of six. MK out of seven, Kata McQueen also for KR Sport. Matthew Higgins, who's racing for Aston Martin in the GT Europe Cup this year out of nine, ahead of Omar for the Dubai-based XL Motorsport team. King and Geraghty and Austin Lee. Denny Shields, Aman Hamilton, the Kiwi Hungarian who was fourth in last year's series. Ethan Jeff Hall, former junior champion. Babichkova also for Hunter Motorsport. Hamburger, Matisse Kanijak, Seidler and TV out of 20. Tommy van der Strauss, Laurent Legault, Olivier Yonkers for Dance Racing. Papa Jenner, Fracassi, Wood Nielsen, Bolowet, the Belgians. On that roll for Greed at the, let me have a look. Well, he's alongside, okay, the grid disappears. Svede Uben and Bo Lewis on the 14th row of the grid. Sebastian Koch, Tom Langlois, Holtz, Royst, who DNF'd in the fight in the pre-final this morning. Mario Seidler, William Antrobus, Lucas Schlegel, and Jort van Vijt. Triple three on the final row of the grid. This is Genk in Belgium, the world famous circuit built by the Lemons family back in 1983. This is one of the four circuits where Jensen won the 1997 Formula Super 8 Championships. Driving a Rotax powered Techno SS22 car, the 40 mil axle. Jensen for the GKS team. Grew up racing thousands of laps here, actually won the European Super 8 Championships at this very circuit almost three decades ago. The original car, yep, Paul still has it. The legendary Techno SS22 was powered by a Rotax. Mind you, it was screaming up to near on 22,000 RPM. The magic days of Formula Super A in 100cc. Homer, GKS Lemons, you're at Genk in Belgium. DHR on the front row of the grid. It's Mac B and JT. Welcome to Genk in Belgium. Round one of the Rotax Max Challenge Euro Trophy. We race. Kai down the inside, they make contact. Sean Butcher sends it on through from the third row of the grid. What a start. Sean Butcher for KR Sport has got the race lead. He's on the inside. As Macaulay Bishop, Jaden Tian, all fight for position. There's Kai Hunter on the outside. Sean Bishop with an outrageous start as we see one card go rally grass. Thomas Behrman also in trouble. He's going slowly at the top of your screen. TB, he won't win here this afternoon. A disaster for the driver who took pole position. At Campios in the Winter Cup, Sean Butcher with a super start. The Tony Cup to come across of the line in second place. Just a local yellow for the moment. As Butcher leads from Mark Kimber, there is an incident off screen. You can see there is concern from the marshals. We stay green for just the moment. An incident with Tommy van der Sloes and Laurent Legault. It is a local yellow only for the moment. We go full course yellow, inevitably. Full course yellow here on lap two. Not all the drivers have seen this. Mark Kimber trying to pass. We've gone full course yellow. Okay, so not MK's fault, clearly. You can see the marshals were slow to get the yellow flag out and waving. Now he acknowledges it. 
You'd be a hard man to apportion blame to Mark Kimber for that. The yellow flag was not waving. We saw it on our timing screen a good eight or nine seconds earlier. Mark Kimber did make the move to go through on Sean Butcher. As soon as he saw the yellow, he put the right hand up, backed off immediately. Kimber did do the right thing, clearly. He does have the race lead from Higgins, Butcher, Stevens, Gilbert, Kai Hunter, Bishop back in seven from Austin Lee. But our concern is for Tommy van der Strauss and Laurent Legault. An incident off screen. The cart was just on the racing line. I can tell you the drivers. It looks as though Laurent, the Canadian, is up and walking in OK. But the cart was in a precarious position. Our assistant race director, Mr. Marco Carlino, is down on the scene. This is lap three. We go full course yellow. Just where that marshal is standing is where the incident was. The cart has been removed, so Behrman has retired as well with damage. He was not involved in that incident. It was first corner damage for TB. One lap, full course yellow, and then we race green. Tommy van der Stroes and Laurent Legault involved in that incident. Concern for the Canadian, Laurent, he is okay, but his afternoon is over. So Mark Kimber, will bring us back to the lead, to the green. The World Finals champion. He won that title in 2021. Strawberry Racing. Dan Holland Racing of Matthew Higgins in second place. A big year for Matthew Higgins. Boy, would he like to start it off with victory here at Genki Belgium before he lines up for Aston Martin in the GT Cup of Europe starting in Portimao in just a few weeks' time. Sean Butcher with a super start for KR Sport. That is Sean in position three from Vic Stevens, Lewis Gilbert, Hunter, Bishop from pole position back to seven. Austin Lee, Hamilton, King and Geraghty just ahead of Jaden Tien. The green flag flies and once again we race green. Perfect start from Kimba. He goes down into turn one. He's already got two three tenths of a second. Over second place, Matthew Higgins. Butcher is past. Vic Stevens. For Blue Farm Power in 327, Lewis Gilbert for Kraft Motorsport. Briefly goes by, but he's put back to P5. Kai Hunter's there. As Mark Kimber goes down the inside, having to defend from Matthew Higgins. Here comes Stevens. The Belgian here in Belgium. Vic Stevens, 3-2-7, looking for his second victory of 2024. For Bull Farm Power, there is a yellow flag. Sorry, that is green, actually. It is faded. It looked yellow. I had to look out the window to confirm it is green. It is Mark Kimber, though, from Higgins and Stevens, who did win here again. The winter trophy earlier on in the year, the warm-up to the 2024 Rotax Max Euro Trophy. Looking for his second victory at Gank. He's behind Matthew Higgins for Dan Holland Racing. Mark Kimber, the former World Grand Finals champion for Strawberry Motorsport. The team of Paul Spencer, they run 1-2. Powered by Cream Engines. Just seeing in the background, Omar Ganon for Exil Motorsport. The team of Kevin Day, based over there in the beautiful United Arab Emirates. He's just outside the top ten ahead of Denny Shields. Behind Kean Garrity and JT from Group 2. T in the Winter Cup champion going through now. He's back in 10th place. Move down the inside. It goes on through. Higgins back to three. The response. There's Butcher. Lewis Gilbert looking for track position. Here comes Macaulay Bishop from pole position. We told you in the formation laps about that outrageous move two weeks ago at Wilton Mill to win the British Oak Lake as Sean Butcher goes down the inside and takes Higgins. Crash in the background, it's Hunter. Hunter 
has come together with Key and Geraghty. They do continue on, but effectively their afternoon is over. Kai Hunter is out. What a disappointment for the British champion. On debut in the Carlos Sainz CS55 cart. Key and Geraghty, Kai Hunter come together. Macaulay Bishop, the British O plate champion. Well, let's see what Mac B can do. If he's to win the first round of the Rotax Max Challenge as Kai Hunter pulls into pit lane to retire. Hugely disappointing for Kai, who started on the inside second row of the grid. Garrity about to join him in pit lane. Their afternoon is over. Watching Macaulay Bishop, he has dominated all this weekend. As we see the two Tony Kart Stevens on the back of Mark Kimber, the Belgian for Bull Barn Power on the back of NK. It's Sean Butcher, who has been super quick all this weekend for KR Sports. Watch Higgins in the background. And Lewis Gilbert. Then it's Bishop. Then Aman Hamilton. The Kiwi Hungarian, or the Hungarian New Zealander who was fourth last year. As we get news that Caden McQueen is under investigation. Down into turn one, throws it in sideways to Stevens. Butcher up the inside. There's Higgins on the outside. Now it's on in the Senior Max final with that yellow flag. Full course introduction. We're already on lap nine. Kimber's got the lead from Higgins, then Butcher. It's the drivers from the Kings England who go one, two, three. They crash. Higgins is out. As is Butcher. They crash at the top of the circuit onto the grass. Butcher and Higgins come together. Mark Kimber looks behind. Take a look at this. So Mark Kimber had turned in to try and defend. Higgins was already there. The question is, has Mark Kimber got damage to the 350? The Strawberry Racing Tony Cup. The race of 401 double R chassis. Stevens in second, Bishop's in third, Bishop's in fourth. He's just been passed by his teammate, Jaden Tian. JT in 359, Mac B in 368. The Dan Holland Racing teammates, they need to work together. Behind them, Lewis Gilbert, Austin Lee for Kraft Motorsports. Then it's Hamburg, Omar Genam, Ethan, Jeff Hall, Hamilton, and Olivier Yonkers from Grid 23. Here's the Belgian for the Belgian team at Dams Racing in P11. Elia Papacena from Grid 24. The second Italian in the MKC Motorsport 345 Tony Kart. He's on the back of this battle. Five laps remaining in a disjointed Senior Max final. Kimba Stevens. Here's Ethan down into turn one. Defending from Omar from the Emirates. Hamilton just behind. And then Yonkers, Papacena and Teresa Babichkaba. The remaining top entry for Hunter Motorsport. Here's Austin Lee, 347. Tino Seidler, purple lap. And he's down in 26th position. Mark Kimber cannot shake the Belgian Vic Stevens with four laps remaining. Personal best sectors for Macaulay Bishop behind Jaden Tian. Jaden points ahead, trying to work together. The Dutch driver who won the season opening Winter Cup at Campios in the south of Spain. The Dan Holland Racing drivers started on the front row of the grid. They're back to three and four. Austin Lee in five from Gilbert, Hamburg. Ethan Jeff Hall, the former junior Euro champ, coming onto the straight in the background now for Sam Pollard Racing. And then the New Zealander, Roman Hamilton. And it's Mark Kimber, the former grand finals champion, who is withstanding enormous pressure from Vic Stevens, the Belgian driver for the Dutch Belgian team, Boulevard Power. 327. It's Vic looking for his second victory at Genk in 2024. 
winning the winter trophy on a freezing cold day back at the end of January. Now he shadows MK, 350. The inside rear skipping off a deck. The race of 401, double R chassis. As Stevens just clips the ripple strip. Jaden in P3, McCauley in four. Here's Austin Lee, fabulous close up pitches. And he goes through into position four. Bishop back to five. It's all going wrong for McCauley, who dominated coming into this weekend. Fresh off victory at Wilton Mill in the British O plate. He took pole position on Friday, storming around the 1,360 metre circuit in a time of 54 dead at 0 1 2. Dominated the heats. He lined up on pole position for the final, but at the moment, McCauley Bishop. With just two laps remaining, he's off the podium in P5. Fix Stevens dives down the inside. The Belgian goes through. Kimber on the outside, staring at him. Almost runs into the back of the Boulevard Power Tony Kart. Now it's not over yet. Bishop back up the inside. Here comes Mac B. Dan Holland Racing versus Strawberry Motorsports. What a comeback from Macaulay Bishop. Any one of the first six drivers on your screen could win this, the first round of the 2024 Rotax Max Euro Trophy here at Genk in Belgium. Mark Kimber has defended the entire race. He'll come across the line, you would think, in P1 in just a moment. He defends into the final corner. It's not over yet. What a comeback for Bishop. He's got just under one mile to race. Kimber staring over his right shoulder. At 111 case an hour, Bishop in second. He needs to do exactly what he did at Wilton Mill two weeks ago. Bishop in second. Dan Holland Racing versus Strawberry Motorsport. Dan and Paul losing fingernails in pit lane. Mark Kimber has defended superbly. The former grand finals champion is Austin Lee. Almost puts Jaden into the grass. Down the inside, Mac B goes on through. He's done it. Bishop on the last lap of the race. Unbelievably, Matt Cawley Bishop. When the yellow flag came out, came out, he was in 11th. Kimber tries, he won't do it. Bishop wins. Macaulay Bishop will win. What a comeback, what a drive. Macaulay Bishop, unbelievable. That was outrageous. Bishop has won it. He has done it. Steven second, Austin Lee third. Kimber misses the podium as he attacked. Bishop has done it. Is there a better overtaker in World Motorsport? I didn't say karting, I said World Motorsport at the moment. The Macaulay Bishop. He won the British O plate around the outside of Lewis Gilbert two weeks ago at Wilton Mill. And he's come from 11th. Halfway through the race to win the first round here at Genk in Belgium. It was a messy start. The DHR drivers from the front row of the grid. They were back outside the top 10 at the end of the first lap. Superstar from Butcher was actually in the grass. Jaden Tien would come home to finish in seven as Vic Stevens pulled away from this battle. Matthew Higgins, who ultimately finished down in position 24. Mark Kimber led away at the restart. And then this, Higgins into the grass. Sean Butcher, through no fault of his own, had to avoid him. Sean did well to finish eighth, head of the Kiwi, Martin Hamilton. Stevens down the inside of Mark Kimber. Down into turn one, the two Tony Carts. And Macaulay Bishop sensed his opportunity. Contact ever so slightly, Kimber moved him. Macaulay Bishop said, that's all I need. Down into turn one, he couldn't shake his fellow countryman. And just sent it. Down into the chicane, Macaulay Bishop for Dan Holland Racing. Unbelievably has won with a super pass. Mac B wins at Vic Stevens in second. Austin Lee for Kraft Motorsport. The German in third. Kimber four misses the podium. 
Paul Harburg, then Ethan Jeff Hall, JT in seven. And it was Butcher, Hamilton, and Lewis Gilbert in 10th place, just ahead of Tabeza Babichkova. He was 11th halfway through the race. What a comeback. Macaulay Bishop wins round one of the Rotax Max Challenge at Euro Trophy here at Genk in Belgium. And he'll stand on the top step of the podium in just a moment. An absolutely pulsating Senior Max final as we wait for the drivers to make their way up from Park Fermi. And as you saw them cross the line, that is not how they will stand on the podium. Macaulay Bishop with the race win across the line. 
but has not passed post-race scrutineering. Macaulay Bishop, and he's not the only one. There is quite a difference in the order from the drivers that you saw cross the line. Take nothing away from the DHR driver with that fantastic pass, but has not passed post-race scrutineering. Macaulay Bishop. has failed post-race scrutineering and will not take victory here on the podium here this afternoon. Don't forget from here we go to Wackersdorf Pro Kart Raceland, June the 9th for the second round of the Rotax at Max Challenge 2024 down in beautiful Bavaria from beautiful Belgium. And then we go to Francia Corta, round three of the championship. And then Saturday night under lights, at the center of the karting universe, South Garda Karting Lonato for the championship final, the last day of August in the middle of the Italian summer. For the 2024 Rotax Max Challenge. 239 drivers from 40 nations around the world. Here at Genk in Belgium, the home of champions as we wait for the drivers to come up to the podium. Just repeating, the drivers you cross the line in one, two, and three are not the drivers who will stand on the podium. I'll tell you, we'll have a Belgian, a German, and one Brit after all, but not the drivers who you were thinking. We're still waiting for them to come up from Park Fermé. Macaulay Bishop, after that outrageous pass again, he did it but failed in post-race scrutineering. So now the driver's coming up to Park Fermé. We can see two of them. Now we've got three of them and a team manager as well. The three drivers who cross the line, one, two, and three, are not the drivers who will stand on the podium. There is a different order, but with that, we are ready to get underway with the podium for Senior Max. In third place for Sam Pollitt Racing from Great Britain, Ethan Jeff Hall. In second place, in Senior Max, the German, Austin Lee. We've got a Belgian victory in Belgium. Welcome to the top step of the podium, the winner of round one of the Senior Max Euro Trophy, Vic Stevens. and representing the winning team, Bouvan Power, Max Timmermans. We'll call on Mr. Oronzo Dibari, representing WSK Promotion, to present the third place trophy to Ethan Jeff Hall of Great Britain. Mr. Kuhn Lemons representing Karting Gang to the second place German Austin Lee. And Mr. Sarah Daru representing Rotax Racing to present the winning trophy to Belgium's Fig Stevens. And again, Mr. Kuhn Lemons representing Karting Gang, the home of champions. And our host circuit for round one of the championship to Bouvan Powers, Max Timmermans. The national anthem of Belgium.
the podium for round one of the Senior Max Rotax Max Euro Trophy. Third place, Ethan Jeff Hall, second, Austin Lee. And the winner is the Belgian here in Belgium, Vic Stevens. Fantastic start to the 2024 Rotax Max at Euro Trophy. 239 drivers from 40 nations all around the world here at Genk in Belgium, the home of champions. It's been a great first half event. From here, we go to Bakersdorf Pro Kart Raceland, June the 9th for the second round of the series. On behalf of everyone at Rotax Racing, WSK Promotion, and everyone right here at Genk, the home of champions, we say Danke well. We'll see you at Bakersdorf for round two. The 2024 Rotax Max Euro Trophy.